We were here. Uh, Shatrix and Wooly were in the uh, um, the, the the hotel or sanctuary, I believe, sanctuary inn. Uh, not feeling so great as she just stayed inside. Um, there was a pretty massive battle to where Zook uh, pretty much killed like a lot of kids. And oh, you don't remember this, do you? There was a massive, yes. there was a massive battle where uh, Zook killed a lot of kids. I killed the horses too, didn't I? Killed the family. Killed the horses. Even the horses. Yeah. Yep, horses are dead. I believe uh, the group is together. They are actually heading in the direction of to the hotel to try and pick up Jatrix. Yeah, Zook's unconscious. Um. Zook is unconscious? Yeah, yeah, the good one. Uh, oh, that's right, yeah. Yeah, Zook, Zook drank a little bit and was knocked out. Um, and it is snowy. You Ooh. guys are just really down on your luck right now. I was trying to get into the next house over. You were, and you were unsuccessful at that, if I remember correctly. Um, and now you guys are grouped up and heading in the direction of where... Hopefully, Shatrix is still at because she was not feeling so great. <clears throat> Vitter, if you want to take charge, I'm assuming you're kind of leading the group after. Uh, uh, I, Jezebel was actually leading oh, the group. Jezebel. I was just helping Jezebel. drag an unconscious body. Yeah, yeah. Jezebel's leading the group as, um, as uh, you guys are on your way to. Talk to Shatrix and I guess pick her up and fill her in at all that has happened since you guys have been in this little tiny village. Just minor genocide, ending of a bloodline, no big deal. So, as you proceed to walk. Huh? You guys are heading... In the direction, I believe Zook is actually the only one that knew that Shatrix was in the sanctuary. No, I think you all knew eventually because she just didn't want to mess with the cold. So, but just well, you would know where she is as you were heading in that direction. You guys kind of get to the sanctuary, walk in. Uh, the uh, the the uh, the clerk there, she uh, starts staring at Vitter carrying Zook, but you know. Checking Vitter out, you know, because she had a thing for him for a minute. Um, and just well, you would know exactly what room Shatrix in. It was the first door that was on the right as soon as you walk yeah, in. I'm going to it. So you walk in. Do you walk in the door or knock? No, I just walk in. Okay. Walk in, and Jezebel walks in, and Shatrix, you're kind of laying there on the on the bed. Bully, he's covered up, shivering, still trying to stay warm. <clears throat> What time is it? Uh, it's actually bright and early, if I remember correctly. They've just buried you. They had that fight. They believe Short, it's about shortly after. Yeah, I think it's about one o'clock in the afternoon right now. I'm just gonna go and I'm just gonna sit on the bed. Okay. How close to me did you sit? Oh, you went back to the town you exploded. Hmm. Oh, they never left. Oh. We ended right after that fight when oh, she thought she true. knocked out. So were you sitting up early? Well, I thought we were. No, in, she was in a, a small. Yeah, yeah, we're we were in, in a Michigan. small, small village. We we were way out of town. Yeah, you guys are in a small village that you were gonna she help. She was. She was. Uh, further down, I thought. Yeah, she wasn't at the inn. No, she was at a house or something. We were at that inn. Oh, that inn was in the last town. That's yeah. right. So you were at a different house. Yeah. That was... Okay, so you went to the house that she's in. You're you're with her. We'll just pick up here. I'm just going to sit. Okay. Not say anything. Just sit. Uh, did you sit close enough that I can, like, pull my hand out from the blanket? Uh-huh. Just kind of, like, sat yeah. down your leg? Yeah. I'm gonna do that. Okay. That's right. You're still grieving. You guys are still grieving over Decker as well. So, anything you guys want to say at all? or No? Okay. Just sit there. Uh, Zook, Vitter, Tweet, you guys are all together kind of sitting outside. 
I'm Zook's passed out. out. Oh, sorry. Yeah. I'll try Tweet. to wake Zook up. Okay. okay. How do you want to do that? Yeah, I'll shake him. Okay. Shake him? All right. Big old stir shake. Uh, roll me a constitution saving throw. Shake and bake. Seventeen. Okay, yeah. You 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 wake up to just being rattled like this. <laughs> what? What's going on? I don't feel so good. Don't quit being such a lightweight. Dagger deep. That's pretty funny because she's mean little. He's little. Mm-hmm. So, anyway, tweet. Anything you want to chime in on this conversation? Oh, I'm not feeling good. You're not feeling good either. No. Okay. <laughs> you know you're not. Um, we never took a short rest. Did not. I recommend we do that. Okay. One of us took two fireballs. <laughs> okay. Okay. So you guys end up taking a nice little short rest. Make sure you do your hit points over there. <laughs> Go ahead and roll your hit die if you want to roll your hit roll die. D8. I'm not sure if I can resist. <laughs> Eight. Okay. So we've uh Not exactly friendly in the last town, Quinlando. Mm-hmm. It's not that it was friendly. It was just really high-priced and very well, snooty. We kind of messed up the mayor's kid, too. Yeah, yeah, a little bit of that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, somebody killed a family here. Define kill. <laughs> they ceased to be living. <laughs> Everyone else is still alive. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, what I'm trying to say is we're not exactly making friends everywhere we go. I didn't know. <laughs> and, no, I'm not I'm not passing judgment it, or blame. And I still think you have one more left on that on that uh, necklace uh, too. Uh, mm-hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. So I mean on the plus side, we do have a friend with the king. And that's about it. Uh, uh, let me see if we have any other friends. Uh, oh boy, this is rough. I got a telephono. What? Yeah, or a uh, friend stone. You got a friend stone? You do have a friend stone. Yes. Who's that to? The king. The king? Well. Can you ask him for horses? I imagine... Airdrop. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine he's pretty close to, uh, what was that, Wintermere? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and you guys are about in between Quinlando and Akerton right now. Yep, that's what I got. Quinn. Quinn. Who? We have a friend in Quinn. Akerton. <laughs> What? Attack on Titan. Oh, yeah. Um, That's Ackerman. Mm. You can you can try the Kings. I don't know if he'll be able to do anything. We we need something. We need some mounts. We need we need to get the fuck out of here. Preferably not blow up any more cities, houses. Maybe. Low profile is what he's saying. <laughs> Let's, how, how far away is the next one? Um, it was two days between Quinlando and Miston, right? Uh, yeah, it was about about from what you could judge. That was two days with horses. Right. So you're probably thinking without horses, you're probably looking at least four, maybe five at the at the latest. What with and Miss, Miss Stone was about halfway between Quinlando and Akerton. And that's where you are right now. Yeah. So we're looking at four or five days to at get least to four, At least four days, maybe five. What about with horses? 
Two. It was about two, yeah. Two and a half? Did you have a rough day? I mean, I could summon some horses. For two and a half days? I mean, any amount of time on horseback is better than walking, but... Or, um, um... For three hours. Three hours every time. And how many horses? Uh, as many as we need. Oh, we had three before, so if you could do three. I don't know the actual. So three hours on horses might get you half a day. How many times can you do that? Three times for one hour. Three times for one hour. So you get about three total hours all together. I guess it just depends on how many you can summon at once. So basically you save half a day every day. Mm-hmm. Pretty much, yeah. So what you're looking at is you're looking at at least two and a half to maybe three days cutting down your time on that. Um, I can summon eight. Oh. Yeah, that's enough for... Each of us. Definitely. Three hours a day? I mean, we're still going to be doing some walking, but... Is that going to make it harder on you if we were to be attacked? No. No? I'll be alright. You sure? That look you're giving me is really uncomfortable. <laughs> it should be. <laughs> just exudes confidence. <laughs> I got one more fireball left, just in case. <laughs> Let's uh, say that as a last resort. <laughs> <laughs> they were knowing there's kids around. Oh, God! Not putting blame on him. Oh, yeah. kids. No, no. I got, I got to check my egg. Okay. Yeah, you check your egg and... Uh, it seems to be in pretty okay condition other than your case around it is still a little bent from original. Okay. Um, some scorch marks on it. <laughs> but yeah, it does It does look like the metal around it now is actually black <clears throat> than one silver. Because it was in the fire with everything else. Oh. But it got real warm in there for a bit. <laughs> oh, I wish I was down there right now. What? <laughs> Did you just cook his egg? <laughs> Sorry to tell if he opens it up. No. <laughs> don't, don't even look at me like that. Don't open it. Hard boiled without water. I don't want to know. Hard boiled without water. Do you uh, do you want to go in and try to talk to the two girls? Yeah, I'll go in. There. Better walks in. Um, you see Jezebel and Shatrix sitting on the bed next to each other. Shatrix got her hand on Jezebel. Shatrix, you still have no idea what the fuck is going on. I I think it is. Wise of us to leave this area. Oh, I think so, too. Why? No reason in particular. Just we might not have many friends here. Shocking. Yeah, it's crazy. I wish we could have friends, too. Um, Tweet can summon us some horses. He said for three hours... Every day, which will cut, what would you say, two and a half? Yeah, it'll cut, it'll cut down to at least, so if you do the, the horse thing, cutting down a half a day, which will probably give you at least two and a half to maybe three. Like, you possibly can make it by two and a half, but. It, it'll save us some time on the travel. Where are we going? Akraton. The only other spot I got marked on the map that's What's nearby. there? Hopefully more horses. I thought, we're, I thought, no, I thought it was Miststone. We're in Miststone. Oh. 
Hopefully more horses. Maybe. Maybe friends. Uh, somewhere we can get supplies. Because I still feel like we're not quite prepared for winter. Uh, and, you know, just not angry people towards us. Even you don't know about the horses, do you? No, she's about to find out. So if she was paying attention to that conversation. Well, the thing is, is she knew of that when Deckard and Vitter originally were trying to get a horse, they were trying to get help to get a horse. So he, she could also take it as like, oh yeah, because you know they do need one more horse. We do need one horse, but he's saying to get more horses. So she. And he also said Tweet can summon horses for three hours. Right. A day. So a lot's going on. At she's. <clears throat> I'm. Playing this off in terms of like I'm under the weather. I'm. I got you. Yeah. Over. Less questiony. <laughs> okay. So I was thinking. Call ass. Maybe find somewhere nice and warm. Once we get there. When are you wanting to leave? How do you feel? <laughs> Honestly. Because, <laughs> uh... Get yeah, we, we, we did a short rest. So. Yeah, and if you, you, have, that going if you want to do your hit dive while you're doing short rest, it's fine. Um, we could leave <laughs> immediately. I'm, I'm kosher. Just out of curiosity, did this, um, let's say, unmaking friends event involve fire? <laughs> Bitter, she's not gonna you. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm trying to figure out how I should answer. That. <laughs> uh, Which when you, are you still laying down? Which way are you facing? Away from me. I don't think she's trying to be sassy right now, so. There was. No, I was just gonna be like, with the look, like, if she was looking at me or whatever, like, I. No, I mean, I would have turned, even if I was facing away from you, I would have turned enough to, like, see where I was putting my hand and stuff. So, when, like, literally when you ask that question, Bitter, she's talking to you as, like, I'm looking at you with this scared look, like, oh, fuck, here we go. There was fire. No, that was it me. I think it's obvious when I say I was not directly involved <laughs> with the fire. And but <clears throat> oh, there's more. <laughs> so normally the fire is you and Deckard, and um. No, not him. Not me. Nope. Usually, yeah. I I don't do fire. Got I got wounded. It's <laughs> burnt by fire. <laughs> Care about it. <laughs> That's why I have the fire confused with you. I forget about old Stumpy. I still have my arm. <laughs> <laughs> it works. <laughs> <laughs> my heart. <laughs> Should have been there. It was really warm. <laughs> Bully nods. He says he's ready. He wants to find some warm. Let's go. Uh, okay. Let's, let's go ahead and get ready. Let's okay. Tweet. You guys get up <laughs> off the bed and you guys walk out. You see Zook and Tweet outside. Just looks like they're kind of ready to go. Shivering a bit, but ready to go. It's probably about, I'd say, 27 degrees outside. Lightly snowing. Um, as you guys are... You walk out and you just see kind of Zook and Tweet standing there. Uh, hey, uh, you wanna you wanna do the thing? And we'll take off quickly. <laughs> we'll just do the thing. Yeah, with the horses. Take your horses. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, how many do you summon? You summon one for everybody. Yeah, one. Okay. So what? Five horses. Okay. So uh, you see Tweet just summon five horses, and um, they appear, and Tweet, you hop up on one. I'll hop up and offer a hand to just, I mean, to 
Shatrix. <laughs> you're you're <laughs> general. <laughs> I knew that. Are we just going to get our horses? Yeah. I'm going to get horses. on my horse and then okay. just kind of like Decker, walk away from the oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm up there. <laughs> oh, Decker. <laughs> Vitter, <laughs> are you taking point? I can. Okay, Vitter, hands up. up and I'll take the back. They're still technically. Shatrix. I think Zook should take point. No. And <laughs> so there's technically one horse just off in the distance on its own since you guys are sharing a horse right now. Is that one for Bully? Sure. Yeah. Nope. Okay. Follow us. Bully hops up. And I imagine they're still under your control, aren't they? Yeah. You don't have to handle them. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Here we go. All right. <laughs> if you say you think Zook should take point, Zook's in the front anyway. <laughs> I don't know which way I'm going. <laughs> That's true. If you're controlling, you can put whoever you want in the point. There. So who do you put in point? <laughs> okay. So as Zook goes, no, 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 no. The horse goes up and starts taking point, and you guys take off. And full speed ahead. Let's do this. Full speed ahead. Duke, with you uh, not really wanting to take point, are you actively looking around? Yeah. Or, okay. Go ahead and make a perception check. As Shatrix, you uh, you know that you guys are going in the opposite direction of where your horses should be. So you're kind of putting it a little bit together that something's a little I'm, fishy I'm here. Turn and be Go ahead. 18. Okay. And it wasn't me. Do I hear that at all? No, no you're in Are point. you... What order do we have? It's Tweet's order, so I want to see what the order is. Oh. Zook, okay. Twitter, okay. me, those two. Okay, so they're in the back. And then Bully? And then Bully? Okay. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, I don't think so. I don't think you'd hear this. So then... I'm going to lean back like I expect to lean back on Deckard. Okay, yeah. <laughs> and then he's not there. Okay. Fire is not me. I'm going to need some more clarification rather than just fire, because that's all you... Pegger, fireball. I would say so. Fireball. <laughs> I heard that, right? You would have heard that. <laughs> okay, you know, look at him. Like, mm. I'm going to start, like, getting a little bit worked up. Yeah. yeah. Okay, you're saying fire, you're saying fireball. Vitter's being weird and won't take responsibility for fire. You are saying it was not me. Zook. Where's my horse? Zook. Fireballs. <laughs> Two. Kids. Entire family. Horses. <laughs> Disintegrated. Oh. <laughs> Look at those In mere minutes. He has a necklace with another fireball. Oh, I don't know where he got it, but he went bing and it went boom! Twice. Ooh. Bada bing, bada boom. <laughs> They didn't suffer though. <laughs> Not long. Not that was thing. So. <laughs> okay. um, I don't <laughs> remember if I've already done this when it was given to me or not, but Spider Cloak is on. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Hood is going up as far as it will go, okay. and I'm going to pull it over my face. Okay. And slouch. Okay, okay. Um, so yeah, you as. You can lean forward on my back if you need to. As, uh, as. Zook, you start heading a good, probably, we'll, we'll just go ahead and kind of speed up the travel a little bit. <laughs> you travel for at least about two hours on this horse, and I figure you're doing kind of the constant to keep it going. It's good for uh, three hours. Huh? Oh, no, no. No, no, it's one hour. I get hour what we're for, saying. Yeah. I get yeah, it. so, Tweet, you would know when that hour is coming up that you would just recast it so you guys don't, like, fall on your ass in the snow. Can you cast it at higher level? It just summons more. Is that done? You could... That still means you get an hour more. No, it summons just more more horses. Yeah. Like he can summon eight. Okay, he can summon so more of them. sixteen. So however many. Okay, so this but is how how it works. So you you level. summon you summon this right. This is whatever level you summoned it at. That doesn't use any more spell slot or any less spell slot. That uses that spell slot. So you can summon it at a higher level, more horses, whatever. You can still oh, yeah. keep I mean, going. You could it's, it's still this. Yeah. But anywho, as you are going a good two hours into this, um, you do notice about off in the distance, I would say probably a good 100 feet, you see this little tiny, I would say it looks tiny to you right now from where you're at, this little tiny shack 
just almost like in the middle of in this field from what it looks like because you're just seeing all white um you do see what looks like fire uh, uh or smoke illuminating from the top of it um it almost looks like just it almost looks like a cabin kind of in a way so as you're kind of you know I'm trotting gonna, along <clears throat> slow down and who's okay. behind me tweet uh, or there. Bitter. There. And then. Are you gonna slow her down? Oh, I can't. Yeah, you can't. You just kind of keep going. Oh. You want to just I'm holler? Just gonna, like, yeah, I'll holler. Okay. Me. Yeah, and this is you're heading towards this. By the way, it's on the, the same way direction that you guys are. You're going. Yeah. So I'll tell Vitter, and then I don't know. Hopefully, he'll tell Tweet. Maybe he'll want to slow down. Okay. Yeah, so. I'll pass on the knowledge. I'll play telephone. Okay. So. There's a fire ahead. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you yeah you what do you tell Vitter? You say it to him and then he'll. And it looks like there's a cabin or something. Looks like a cabin with illuminating smoke. Yeah. So. Okay. There, you say it to who? There's a there's a cabin. Okay. Tweet. So. She stopped or Zook stops. Okay, you stop Zook. And we keep going. <laughs> oh. Okay. So we're pulling ahead of Zook. So. So you stop. You still have your hood over and everything. This whole two hours you're there, like. Would yeah, you... I mean, I would say after a little while, I kind of adjust so okay. that I can like lean against Jezebel. Okay. But, like. Okay. So it hides my face, but I can see the ground passing. Okay. Okay. So uh, you would take point now, as you would pass Zook. You would pass Zook. Zook, you're now kind of sitting in the back while everybody is going ahead. <laughs> How far do you want to let her sit there, or him sit there until you go, or do you just let him go instantly after? Yeah, I'm going to wait to see if he says anything. Huh? I'm going to wait to see if he says anything. If Zook says anything? Yeah. Okay. So you see Vitter pass you, your horse has just stopped. Tweet's coming up, he's about to pass you. Say anything to Tweet as you... As Why you... am I not moving, Tweet? Uh, don't need to kill any more people. Yeah. I'm assuming you keep going? Yeah, we keep going. Okay. And then 100 feet, like, away. Then I... 100 feet? Okay, so Jezebel, you're getting ready to pass Zook. Do you say anything to Zook as you pass? I guess, Chatrix, I don't know if you're actively looking. I'll do, like, a little shaky okay. nudge. So you shake and you nudge to Chatrix. Chatrix, you look over. You see Zook just stop dead in tracks as you're getting ready to pass. Do you say anything? <laughs> As they pass, they go like a hundred feet, Zook, and then your horse just starts moving again. Um, as you're getting close, Vitter, now with you being uh, in the lead, uh, I would say you're about a, you're about probably, and I say a hundred feet, so you're probably about you're about pretty close to being there, about twenty feet away from this cabin. As soon as you start walking up with your or looking up with your uh, passive perception. You see what looks like a basically log cabin. Um, on the side, it's got a cobblestone chimney. There's chimneys going up. When you get a little bit closer, you notice that there is like a, it almost looks like a little tiny moat, like very little, just a five foot moat. You can literally walk over it. That goes around this cabin, but the water's frozen at the moment. And then there's probably about a 10 foot wide bridge that goes over that. But again, you probably don't even need the bridge because you could just walk over it. Um, but, uh, so, you see this, uh, thing, and it looks, uh, illuminated from the inside. Um, it's got the, uh, crosshair, uh, kind of sticks on it. Um, and then on the base of the cabin, it's cobblestone as well. So, like, the base of it, and then it goes wood on the side, the chimney's cobblestone. And then, uh, it's basically about a natural wood look. Uh, okay. About that brownish looking color. Um, and, uh, it's got a porch porch has a uh, little wooden swing on it um, and there's a big sign that does say uh, uh, Keg Creeks uh, in no not in sorry Keg, Keg Creek no that's not I don't want, yeah Keg Creek uh, sorry I'm rolling a blank real quick Brewery. Brewery. no uh, <laughs> I, 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 ta tavern sorry Keg Creeks Tavern as you see it overposted the door. Um, Tweet, we got we got to go in here. <laughs> Why? Deckard would want us to. 
<laughs> okay. Okay. So as uh, I'm assuming you get rid of the horses, correct? And you guys walk yeah. in. Y'all good? Work. Oh, all right. <laughs> so you walk in, I'll assume uh, you guys, <laughs> you guys see them. You sitting on the horses. Do you stop the horse? I mean, you're controlling his horses, so you got to tell me what's uh, going I, on. I go them. up to the building and I tell them to get ready. I'm gonna just undo it. it. Okay. I would tell you that we're going in here for Deckard. Okay. Okay. Um, Chaser, do you want to say anything? In response. Okay. Uh, I feel like I would probably just look to see where Bully's at and make sure that he's. With he's, yeah. yep, he's right there with you. Yep. Knows that the horse is about to disappear. Yep. Um, and do you tell Zook that as well? Okay. So you guys all get up there. I'll say Zook sits outside, just kind of keeping watch of what's going on. Um, Vitter, as you. Vitter, as you walk in, uh, you do see what looks like a really nice tavern. Um, it's uh, it's got about six tables in it um, that are spaced out pretty good. Nice bar. Uh, you've got a gentleman here. He's in like pretty much like almost looks like uh, all uh, bear fur type coat, and and basically he's got like a uh, one of those kind of. Uh, old school Russian hunter hats, you know, kind of thing, what I'm thinking about, like the little flaps and stuff, he's got the ears that go down, um, but it's, it's, that looks like it's kind of made more of like rabbit skin, um, long brown reddish beard, uh, and a stockier individual, I would probably say somewhere around, I don't know, five, five, eight, about 230 pounds or so. Is this a tall dwarf? Uh, no, he is human. Um, as, as you, uh, you see him there, he goes, oh! What? <laughs> every fucking barkeep is a dwarf. <laughs> what? This is a human. Yeah. Oh, welcome, sir. And, uh, you, you, you peeps as, well, you are a person, right? Or, I'm not sure, I've never seen one. Uh, That's a little racist. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. I just... can speak, though. That's very interesting. Very interesting. Um, but anywho, well, welcome uh, to uh, Cake Creek in, uh, Tavern. Tavern. Bitch, I can't even name my own shit. In and Tavern. Yeah. In and Tavern. Both. Well, yeah. Why yeah. not? Hey, we call it in sometimes because you know people sleep here. Uh, anywho, but uh, what can I get you guys? Are you guys you guys want something hot to drink? It's pretty cold out there. I feel like the best liquor you have. Will warm us up. The best liquor I have. Okay. And uh, you two ladies at all? Just real quick, would I recognize uh, any of the skin. like animal stuff I, that he's actually, wearing? Like, would be would I be able to pinpoint with my background? Just yeah, make a make an intelligence check real quick. Let's see. <laughs> and you, what do you drink? Hmm? What is Okay. okay. Are you uh, interested in something like warm to drink? Because you know it is pretty cold out there. I'll take some hot water. Hot water. Okay, we can do that. Come out and gives you a little glass of hot water. He comes out. He pulls this kind of really clear, nice fizzy liquid and gives it to you. Um, go ahead. Yeah, you would notice this is definitely bear skin and a rabbit skin as far as what's going on. Um, Zook, you, I left you outside, but I'd say you would enter, and as you enter, you see what looks like a 5'7 uh, gentleman, long beard, uh, reddish, brownish tint. He's wearing uh, like a bear skin fur slash kind of clothing, and he's got like a rabbit uh, kind of Russian type looking hat. Um, yeah, he's about 230 pounds. And, oh, welcome, sir. Are you, uh... You're thirsty. Would you like something to uh, to drink? It's pretty cold out there. I got some hot drinks if you'd like. I'm okay. Okay, okay. Thank well, you. What brings you guys out this way? We're heading to Ackerton. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. 
I get a lot of business from there. A lot of people come out here and they uh, they like to come to this place. They think of this kind of like a hunting lodge sometimes. And when, when he says that, you do see what looks like a deer head on the side or elk or... You do see what looks like a some large a, yeah. You see a a bear's head. You see um, what looks like a giant. Uh, I would say fish, probably about this big on there. Um, so you see like kind of all the, a lot of these trophies, and then you see a couple sketchings of people posing with stuff, you know, um, off and around. And then you see one board in the back that looks like kind of more like a bulletin board or some kind of nature. Um, you know what? Uh, not trying to, uh, I have no problems with your, your, uh, your friend here, but he, he looks like a rare individual and I would be very, uh, careful because I think someone might want to try to hunt him. He could, I could see where they Do might. Do I hear this? Sorry. Well, yes, yes. Yeah, he was too. I am going to pull out a dagger and well, stick it I, in the bar. I don't want no trouble. I'm just, I'm just trying to give you guys a warning. I'm, and you guys are the only ones in here right now. So, But people come out here to hunt, and they may think he may be something like a trophy. So, Anybody hunts him, I'm going to hunt them. Okay. I'm pretty amazing. Anyway, no, no, no worries. Uh, don't, don't try to get a little upset there, a uh, little one. Um, so, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> uh, I'm going to down this drink. Yeah, and it, it tastes like... It tastes what, like... Sprite and Crown would taste to you. It's really nice and Fuck, this fizzy. <laughs> um, you know, and it's uh, yeah, it's a little bit of my own blend. I call that uh, Crown Apple and Sprite. <laughs> no, I call that Leaf and Lemon. So, <laughs> so if uh, if you want any more, that's the first one. That, you know, I'll let you have that one. It's a little bit of my own blend, but uh, you know, that one will be on the house. But get another one on standby. Okay, okay, sure, sure. Um, you, you two ladies didn't ask for, you didn't say what you guys wanted to drink, so, did you guys want anything? And I'll say by this time it's probably going about five in the afternoon, so it's getting I'm gonna, somewhat later. I'm going to take my crown apple and Sprite and go to uh, check out that board. Okay, okay, sure enough, sure enough. Did he? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Um. My good sir. Hugh. Hugh's the name. Hugh. 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 Hugh it's nice to meet you, Hugh. Yeah, it's a Hugh. very lovely, fair skin coat you've got there. Yeah, yeah. It's a. It was a gift to another local hunter that came by. Oh, so you yourself don't actually hunt? I don't hunt. No, no. I I run this place, and uh, I meet a lot of interesting people. However. Business has been a little, a little slow lately, you know. That rabbit skin hat cost you much? No, that was a gift as well. It was a gift as well. Hmm. Any chance you'd be willing to part with it? I, I. Just for clarification, my hand is still on my dagger I, in the bar. I, I, roll me an intimidation check. <laughs> nice. Oh, fuck. Go ahead. Yeah, I, I, it keeps my head warm. I'd rather keep it. But, uh... Well... Then, sir, did you want anything to drink? You didn't really say anything either. I'm fine. Okay, okay, okay. But, when Zoop talks, I'm going to just look in his direction. Hmm? Well, great light bulb on myself. Are you guys planning on, uh... Hey, nobody else drinking? Are you guys planning on uh, staying in for the evening or the night, or are you guys... Is it an inn or a bar, or... No, it's a little of both. You can sleep on the table. Yeah, I mean, people sleep on the <laughs> floor all the time. I mean, if you want to try to eat, you might be able to fit on the table. I mean, I'm not trying to make a short joke or anything, but... Not hungover, are you? Um, <laughs> anywho, um... You guys, everybody's welcome. We have no, no discrimination here. As you walk over to the board, and uh, you do see what looks like uh, a couple uh, wanted posters on there. Um, on that, it does one of them you have already seen before, which is a friend of yours that is in your party, looking for the, you know, Red Boon Circus. I'm gonna remove that one. Okay. 
looking for that reward and everything says it's exactly the same. Um, and then, uh, you know, uh, you see another one that looks like uh, the town of Ackerton, to where you are going, um, is actually looking for the, uh, the capture of Bloody Bandit. And he, in the description of there, it says that he has a, they don't actually have, like, it's just the, like a like a camp, basically. But the king is within that bandit camp, if that makes sense. The bandit king is within Yeah, the bandit, the bandit king. The, 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 <laughs> sorry, the bandit <laughs> group is called Bloody Bandits. No. Oh. The, the king is who they're looking for captured, but, you know, they don't know who the king is. Um, and... Out. They are uh, looking for a 2,000 um, gold reward for alive and 500 gold for dead. Um, and this on this billboard, is it, it is... 2,000. It is uh, east, to their knowledge, of where their camp is. Preferably, the last that they know is it is in some type of smaller size, either, I don't want to say mountain, because it's not a mountain, but a bluff or a uh, or a cave, more or less. And that's kind of what... It's east of our current location? Yes, yes. So, um, they know it's in that vicinity. Uh, Towards uh, Clueport? Uh... Kind of a little bit more north though. Okay. So it's like that first mountain hill that you see there on the north side is their general location. Um, also, description on there is they are interrupting a lot of travel business as far as exporting goods from town to town. They keep jumping individuals. They keep uh, basically, uh, you know, making travelers just have a highway robbery. Yeah, more or less. Um, and that's the reason why this reward is, is pretty high, because they really would like this problem taken care of. Um, so that's kind of the, the one that jumps out to you the most when you see that on there. Um, and then Hugh, back with you guys, are you guys wanting to talk to him about anything? No, I'm hopping down, I'm heading towards Bitter. Okay. I almost did fucking Deckard again. Okay, so you I'm head over to Bitter. as well. Okay, sure. Um, I mean, yeah, well, you guys are more than welcome to hang out here and relax and stay warm. And as he points, he goes, and there's a fire over there if you guys want to really get warm. And you see Bully just jump to that fire, just sit there. He's just Dying. loving it, loving it. And then, he, and then you start seeing him, like, back up just a little bit because then he starts to get a little too hot. And he's getting now. He's trying to find like the happy medium between hot and cold, you know, because he likes the moist kind of uh, climate. So he's he goes outside and he takes some snow and he like rubs it over him. And then he comes back in. He sits by the fire and he feels it starting to melt. And then he backs up and he's starting to get that coolie felt. And he's just you can tell he's just loving life right now, absolutely loving it. I'm gonna get a little closer to it. To the fire? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You walk over there to the fire and it feels really nice. It's nice to be around a, a controlled fire mm -hmm. environment. So, <laughs> um, DMZ is fucking getting in on Anywho. Oh, all you bitches on fire. <laughs> um, but. Do you by chance have any, like, warm milk, apple cider, or something of that nature without uh, alcohol? Oh, well, absolutely. Yeah, we have tons. Of, let me go make it for you. And you're going to love it. You're going to love it. So he goes back. Can you make it too? Absolutely. And. You see him go back, and you hear a lot of, like, chopping going on in the back, and he comes up, and he's got these two somewhat look like metal cups on the uh, on the outside with the, the wooden handles to kind of, like, make sure that the uh, conduction of the heat doesn't go onto it, and he brings it over there. And two steaming cups of apple cider um, as far as uh, right there in front of you. And that's uh, that's actually a gold for both of those. My friend here got his drink for free. Is that 
It's, it's, it's part of your non-discriminatory, non, whatever word I'm trying to come up with here. Discriminatory. Well, it's Thank the, you. He, Is that he, part of your policy? He, he asked for the finest liquor I had, and I figured my own brew was pretty fine. Not so trying to be conceited. So you give away best for free? I like to know what people think of it, because I do brew that one myself. This one... It's not necessarily brewed by me. I do everything. I follow the ingredients. I do the instructions. But it's it's uh, it's not all of my recipe in this. But the uh, the uh, the percentage of the cell does go to a very good individual. I know that t- does well with apples. Who would that be? Oh, well, his name's Quinn. Awesome guy. Awesome guy. What percentage are we talking here? Uh, he gets, I get one copper out of that one gold, and he gets the rest. Hmm. (laughs) Sorry, really quickly looking to see. You good? Um, I'm gonna reach... I'm going to pull my dagger out of the bar. Okay. That back. Um, <laughs> I'm going to reach in my pack and pull out an apple. Okay. You mean one of these apples? Hold on. Give me one second. He grabs a full apple and comes out with it. It's literally exactly the same. You must know this guy, too. Great guy. So, if I was to give you an apple, do you think maybe I could get four of these for the price of that? It is the best apple. It's mm. part of the ingredient, right? Only my persuasion check. That name is also not vegan anymore. Eight. He, uh, he doesn't come around here very often, um, so that would probably save him a little bit of time in a trip, and I wouldn't have to wait for apples because they do go fast. So I would make that deal, so you're going to give me one of those for four more of these drinks? Yes, sir. That sounds fair. So he'll take the apple. You have the two right now, and mm-hmm. when you guys are ready, I'll give you the other two. Just let me know. I thought you just said it was four more. Do you want them all four right now? Because I have two right now that I just gave you, so I'd have to add two more. Or you want a total of six? Well, I, th- I thought you were agreeing to a total of six. Could have been my confusion there. This is why I don't deal with short. I mean, six, I suppose we could do six. Perception check. <laughs> the only reason I pushed on that is because initially you. Okay, yeah. Um, six, six is good. So, do you want all six now or do you want to wait? No, no, we'll come back up. Just, okay. you know, if any of my group comes up and asks for one, if you could just... Put it on your tab. Make sure that I agree to the tab. Okay, all right. And uh, your name? Shatrix. All right, Shatrix. Got you a tab started. Um... You would walk over to Vitter, as you see Vitter there. Waterskin. Deckards. Give it to me. Now. Wow. <laughs> Best friend. I don't need it. Our boss is like it. <laughs> you don't need it, it, I'm <laughs> keeping it for myself. And I'm walking back over to the bar with Deckards Waterskin. Hey, before you go. Okay. Yeah. I found this poster. Mm-hmm. How do you feel about maybe capturing, or, or killing, I suppose, a bandit king? Let's do it. Okay. Sounds good to make Deckard's in. But before that, we're drinking a Deckard. <laughs> yeah, we should wait for that. And I'm walking back up to the bar. Okay. You walk back to the bar, you have the water skin. Yeah, I'm going to look at him and say, give me a cup real quick. You just want an empty cup? Give me a Mother. cup. I'm just saying, you just want an empty cup. Yeah, well. give me a cup. Oh. I said give me a cup. Okay, okay. What kind of fucking service is this? Here's an empty <laughs> cup. I'm going to pour a little bit of what's in the water skin in there, hand it back to him, and be like, can you taste this? Can you make this? Um, What's in that water skin? That's the liquid, liquid cocaine. cocaine. Oh, okay. Um, he takes a drink. He is a mixologist. It might take me a couple days to pinpoint with exactly what Days! With, with advantage, because yeah. he's a mixologist. 
Yeah, it's gonna take me a couple days to figure out exactly what what's kind in of this. tavern is this? I, I mean, you guys are a pretty rough bunch here. I figured, and Vitter, you know, he seems like a really nice guy to you. So he, <laughs> if you what I want, I want what You're getting, you're getting, you're giving him some gruff here, but yeah, it's gonna take me a couple days um, to figure out exactly what's in there. But I don't have a couple of days. Man, that's good. I don't have a couple of days. <laughs> Damn, that's good. I don't know what to tell you then. I mean, maybe two days at least. Maybe. Try to make it. I can work on it overnight, but I Is can't. that what Deckard made? Uh huh. Is that what Deckard made? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm going to take the water skin, turn around, and walk back to you. Okay. She's an interesting character. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> sir, are you just gonna stand there, or do you want any? I'm gonna go back outside. <laughs> this is the weirdest day ever. As yeah, you walk over to sit next to Bully. Tweet, you're next to the fire. You guys are sitting there. It's probably going on about seven o'clock at night. Um, you good, sir? Yeah, yeah you. Um, if you guys are going to stay overnight, I do rent out, uh, you know, like sleeping space materials if you are interested. You know, it's fairly cheap. Uh, copper per whatever you want. Pillow, blankets. You could sleep with a alligator skin blanket if you'd like, if you've ever had that before. <laughs> I'm fine. I have a blanket. Okay. Uh, maybe ask the others. Well, they're kind of uh, giving me a little bit of the cold shoulder, so I just figured I'd ask you. And uh, okay, I'll, I'll figure this out. Do any of you want a blanket or a pillow? I could have did that. Don't be a pussy next time. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Everybody. So when Better says that, I'm gonna like look around the room. Okay. Would I notice that Zook is not in there? Now? I would say so. Yeah. Easy okay. enough. Um, I'm going to take my glass, and I assume the only other place for him to be is outside? Uh, yeah. I'm going to head outside Oof. with my cup of cider. Yikes. Looking for Zook. Okay. Zook, what are you doing outside? You've been out there for almost about an hour and a half now. Um, I would say, like, I'm behind the cabin, whatever the hell it is. In the um, back? Yeah, in the back. Um, and I've got my cloak wrapped over me. I'm just sitting down against the wall. Kind of like... Okay. Um, Shane Trace, make me a perception check when you walk outside. Seven. Okay. Yeah, that's good enough. As you walk outside, you do start to notice some footprints that do lead almost around towards the back of it. Probably distinguishing that they are littler footprints, so you kind of have an idea of whose they may be. You choose to follow, I'm sure. Yes. You choose to follow. You do see what looks like an individual sitting down behind it, covered up, a little bit of snow kind of draped on the on the on whatever covering she has there or he has there, just kind of sitting there, looking out and about, paying attention as you walk up. Pretty assuming that it is. Zook, you're walking up on. Uh, would he see me approaching? Um, or is he like... Make me a perception check real quick, Zook. Six. I don't think so. No, not really. He's covered up pretty good to where he's just got his eyes out level, so... Okay, I'm gonna walk up and kind of like tap him on the shoulder with the mug. Okay. I'll look up. Apple cider in it. I'll take it. Okay. Thank you. And it's really warm. It feels good. Take a drink. Okay. And it tastes amazing. And warm. You seem like a fairly reasonable guy. From what I know of you. I don't want to know what happened yet. But, uh, you probably shouldn't sit in the cold. I don't know what way. Okay. Shatrix walks away, Zook. What do you choose to do? I'm gonna sit there, I'm gonna finish the cider. 
Which is really good, by the way. Yeah. I made it myself. I'm going to get another one <laughs> as I walk okay. in. Okay. So, yeah. you and I'll in. probably wait like another 20 minutes or so before I go back in. Mm-hmm. You go in, you get another one, Shake Jerks. You get another one, and you guys got how many, what, three left after that? Um, as soon as you get in, you take a drink sip, you sit down for a bit, kind of hang out there. You hear the door open up, you turn behind you, Zeus walking back in. Um, whether you choose to do anything with that, it's up to you guys. You guys are just kind of hanging out here for the night right now, it seems like. Uh, Hugh. Fuck, I didn't hear his name, actually. Yeah. Um, dude. Yeah, dude. <laughs> uh, do you have any... Triple X? Oh, fuck. Oh. Triple X is hard to come by way out here. It's a hot priority. It's okay if you don't. Commodity. It's okay uh, if you don't. Yeah. Unfortunately, our last Triple X shipment was uh, was hijacked by a bunch of uh, bloody bandits. That's, that's okay. I didn't want to ship myself anyway. I don't know. Something about... <laughs> it's weird because, like... They claim to be the the booty bandits, but everybody knows they're the bloody bandits. It's so fuck? weird. Wait, wait, oh, did you say they claim to be the booty? Bandits? Yeah, they come out and they're like, "Oh, we're the booty bandits. Give us your stuff." And not a lot of people want to mess with them because it's, it's we're the booty bandits. Surrender the booty. Oh, well, I'm just saying, that's what they say, and uh, a lot of people know what the booty bandits have done for, you know, the king and stuff. It is kind of starting to be talks yeah, across the land. I'm like his best friend. And, well, nobody wants to mess with them, so. Wait, with the booty bandits or the bloody bandits? Well, if you say, if you come to me and say, hey, really? give me your drink because I'm a booty bandit. I don't know this for sure, but I'm going to give you the drink because well, I value give me my life. fucking drink. But you're not a booty bandit. We are the booty bandits. I don't does this stuff not travel with a description? I don't. Apparently not. Want no trouble. Yes, it does. We had a flyer. No, we're the yeah. we're the we're the booty bandits. I'm so confused. Can we take those? Oh, I'm the, I'm the I'm, Hold on, hold on. Hold I'm gonna on. search my pack because okay. I'm pretty sure Deckard and I took wanted posters of our faces for the booty bandits. Well, yeah, absolutely. So I'm gonna search. So I'm gonna search my pack to yeah, see if you, I can find them. my picture. Yeah, you would have them. So I'm gonna pull it out and be like. See? Ooh, well, I don't want no trouble still. Wait. If you're wanted. No, this we're is the, old. We're the good bandits. We're the good bandits. This is, we, I was wanted to do a favor for a king. Oh, I don't really know because, like, you know, to me, the booty bandits were good and they helped save the, you know, a village. Us. Yeah, Brackle up north. That was yeah. us. That well, was us. This other group calls themselves the booty bandits. We'll and take care of them. They're not. We're going to schwack them. Schwack them. We're going to nice schwack them. Can't believe I'm saying this, but I might be on board for my first schwacking. <laughs> if you believe we're the booty bandits, I'll give you a sip of a really good wine that you will never come by, ever. Okay. Where's that cup that you had before? Right here. And I'm going to take out my wine, and I'm going to pour just, just, my new just <laughs> a tiny, tiny Let's bit go. in that biznatch. <laughs> Here you go, you'll never come across this, and no, you can't have it. <laughs> Wait, you can't have it, or? You can have what's oh, okay. in the cup, but you can't have the bottle, so don't ask. Woo! Oh my god! <laughs> Open bar. <laughs> no, 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 I'm okay. You want a little more? No, I'm okay. Wasn't that the best thing you've ever had? It was like the... And I'm just going to pour a little bit more it was the like, glass. It was almost like having sex for the first time. If you don't drink that, I'm going to. And I'm going to push the glass up. Here, have a little more. I'm good. Thank you, though. I think if I have one more of those, I'll be done. No, I think you'll be good. I'm good. You look I like promise a stout you, fellow. I promise you, I've had... I'm good. My I little, believe you guys. My little friend here has drank a whole bottle with me. Well, I think you'll be good. If you guys are some drinking music. If you guys are the booty bandits, <laughs> then you got to a group impersonating you guys. We'll take care of it. Yeah, we're going to swack them. I'm not really sure what schwacking means. We're going to have a schwacking, which means we're going to have a nice talk with him. But whatever it is, I believe you. Hey, Hugh, could you do me a small favor? Yes. Anyone else who comes into this tavern, you let them know that the actual booty bandits are on their way. Okay. Yeah. 
I will let them know. What Anyone is... else who claims to be part of this, do your best to scare them. Uh, okay, I'm not a very scary guy, but... Well, you can tell them that the strangely bearded wood elf... Yeah, <laughs> they, it's weird because these other bandits say that the wood elf is their king and you don't want to go against the booty bandits. They say that all the time. King? You? They have half of that, right? <laughs> we call him the commander. <laughs> Quit laughing, Decker. <laughs> you, you say we call you what? Because I yeah, don't think that we, words ever came out of my mouth. From my people, call it a commander. <laughs> well, I don't know. They're like, you don't want to mess with our king of the booty <laughs> bandits because he's a wood elf. I'm going to shove my hammer up that dude's ass. And I heard that he's got, like, mystical powers or something. Whoa. Like what? I don't know. Hold up. My wood elf's got tactical wood powers. Wood powers. <laughs> yeah, wood powers. <laughs> I got wood powers. <laughs> I got wood powers. Some, e- some people <laughs> even say <laughs> that he was raised by wolves I'm so in the wood. Death. Well... I'm the wood elf from the Booty Bandits, and I was not raised by wolves. I was raised by a wood elf. Hey man, this is all the stuff I hear of the people that barely barely make it here with their lives sometimes when they're trying to transport goods. When was the last time you've heard one of these stories? About three days ago. From who? Um, some traveler in here. Heading to, uh, oh, what's that snobby town up north? Quinlando? I think that's the one. Yeah, fuck those guys. Yeah, he said something about the king showed up and took all my wine and I wasn't able to deliver it. My boss is going to be so mad. And I was like, oh man, I'm so sorry. I don't know what to tell you. I don't mess with the booty bandits. Sounds like if we give these guys a uh, schwack into it, might be some wine involved. And triple X. And triple X. Or maybe some dribble X there. I'm still a little on the fence about trying to get a good <laughs> just, just so we're away. I'm going to approach Tweet. Oh, okay. Hey, uh, how's, how's your egg doing? <laughs> no, I don't know. I think Tweet's even afraid to look at his own egg. <laughs> it's a disaster. <laughs> Did you not keep it warm? Oh, the warm. <laughs> <laughs> about warmer should get it. About four fifty for one hour. A little overcooked. So, at this point, I'm going to say out loud to myself. Mm-hmm. Deckard said I need to ask better questions. <laughs> Did something happen to your egg that you are concerned about? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> you hear Nectar's voice in your head? <laughs> well, when we're back in Quinlando, the guy crushed it. Uh, you, you, you crushed it. Yeah, that's why it was bent, right? And then, yeah. and, but then I put some some hay in there when we were at Quinn's. Yeah. And then, still quite fuzzy on what happened, but (laughs) there was an explosion (laughs) in a house full of children. And then a second explosion. (laughs) Is that cup still sitting on the bar? Absolutely. (laughs) Okay. No one's taking it, right? And I see it sitting there. Did I see her put the wine in it? Oh, yeah. For sure. I'm going to go up there. And take it and drink it. A little, a little smooth. Take a drink. Roll yes. me a constitution saving throw. Roll it with advantage because there's not that much okay. in there. <laughs> That's just not going to do it. Twelve. Okay. Plus. So you are uh-huh. you are really <laughs> hazy. Not passed out. Okay. But you, um, everything looks a little blurry. You, you know, your vision's a little distorted. Um, and you are not real sure what anybody else is doing right now. But you are kind of in your own drunken state off 
in yonder right Did now. Did it look like Zook went up there with the purpose of getting fucked up? Uh, make an inside check. I'll do that. Thirteen. Zook had intentions to do something right there. Um, <laughs> I feel like I can make feel... an educated guess. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what a great idea, Zook. Shots. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're going to be best friends with Deckard again. Okay. As I feel like he's going to get drunk with us tonight. Okay. Wow, that's a lot of alcohol. <laughs> you guys just start doing shots? Uh, yes. And what do you want to do shots of? Do you have double X? <laughs> Unfortunately, I only have single X. How strong is it in comparison to what I am currently drinking? Uh, oh, what she has? That, that's, that's, that, there's nothing to that. No, no, I'm drinking your stuff. Your best oh, stuff. uh, it's, it's, it's in between single and double. It's, it's not gonna oh. kill you, but. Well, let's get some it's, big it's, ass glasses it's like, like these. Mocha. Yeah. <laughs> and we're gonna slam them. Big glasses. Big glasses. Okay. And since y'all are part of the booty bands, I don't want no trouble, so I'm gonna put these here. I'll fill them to the brim. It's on the house. It's on the house. That's what I like to hear. Cheers. Cheers. And you guys slam them down. Yeah, chugging it. All right. <laughs> uh, Jatrix, Tweet, mm, Jisbel. Take here. a drink under the water skin. I'm just watching this. Okay. Going okay. On. I don't partake. Okay. Yeah. You don't partake. He um. They got this apple cider up there. You should try it. They got me carrot cider? I mean, I got a few carrots. He might be able to do it. How drunk am I? Okay. How, how drunk am I? We'll find out here in just a second. I'm going to go see if he can whip up carrot okay. cider. Do I think I'm on the roof? Alright, you, you walk up there. I take it. You take a carrot. Yes. Yeah. Oh, you, uh, you want something to drink now? Well, uh, yeah, yeah. This carrot. You want to drink the carrot? Yes. <laughs> okay. I'll try to make it like the cider the apple, but I don't know how it's going to turn out. As he takes the carrot and does kind of the same exact thing with that. Gives it to you. You take a drink. Roll me a... Uh, roll me a D20 real quick, and let's just see what we're looking at. 19. This is probably the best carrot cider you've ever had in your entire life. Also probably the only carrot cider. Yeah. <laughs> so, it doesn't have much competition. But it is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Vitter, uh, Zook, uh, conscious saving throw. You guys drink your first of uh, Massive leaf, leaf lemon. <laughs> you, you, he saved. 25. <laughs> okay, all of a sudden, as Zook puts the, the second glass down, you put your second glass in, you're like, fill it up again. Hugh comes over, fills it up. Zook goes and misses and just <laughs> like this, and they're head right next to the, the, the glass on the, on the, on the uh, bar. Um, so you're not going to finish that. Yeah, it hasn't even been touched. <laughs> as you grab both of them. Did it taste good? You're du- take the time to taste it. You're, du- <laughs> you're double fisting. Anything you want to do here now that you got carrot cider? Sit by the fire some more. Okay, you sit by the fire. She come, he, he, a zo- or tweet comes over, sits next to you. Got Two carrot hand. cider. Two hand in his carrot uh, cider. Bully, bully <laughs> keeps going in and out, like putting snow on him and then coming in, getting that slimy, wet effect and keeps going in and out, just loving life right now. He's almost... He's almost can't decide on whether he wants to stay outside tonight or if he wants to stay inside because he's just having both things. And you start seeing the wood underneath bullies like just getting wet and soaked and just slimy. Yeah, it looks real slimy there as he lays down and just kind of cuddles up and <laughs> feels really good. And he almost and then he turns to you and he's like, Shatrix, this feels like home. I don't ever want to leave." And he just. <laughs> Fall asleep. I'm just gonna kind of 
Okay. And then I'm going to check then his glass to see if there's anything left in it. Uh, no. Because I had given him a cider. I'm going to go up and get him another cider and just set it next to him. Okay. And uh, Tweet comes over. He's got his cider or some kind of drink. It smells like a carrot smell to it. Um, sits next to you and by the fire drinking. <clears throat> Did it work? Good. Pretty good. Almost don't want to drink it. <laughs> I just want to put it in my pocket and keep it forever. <laughs> you have pockets? Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, like an armor on. That, it will, don't look like I have armor. Well... Cheers! <laughs> cheers! Um, yeah. <laughs> Roll me another constitution saving throw as you just now double-fisted your two and a half tricks in. Double-fisted? Uh, 20. Okay, yeah. Dirty 20. Feeling good. You and, you and Jisbo are the only ones that are at the bar right now, just... Hanging out as he comes over, fills up one of your cups, and you just kind of look at him. <laughs> he puts the other cup in front of him, and he fills the other one up. And I grab the second cup. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and you guys drink. Uh, Constitution saving throw at disadvantage. Constitution saving throw. Oh, that's a natural normal. 20. Normal. <laughs> that's all right. 22. Okay. Uh, I remember my youth. <laughs> I'm using <laughs> Dark Lost <laughs> Blessing. That's pretty mid in the middle league. Not even. 12? Okay. You're feeling okay. Not not drunk, but you, you're you feeling still great. This is nothing compared to Triple X's and as much as you drank with the king that one night. Anything you guys want to talk about or you guys want to keep drinking? Uh, I'm going to kill that elf. <laughs> I'm gonna help you. Nice. Nice. This is friendship. But, uh. <laughs> I feel like at, once I said that, I feel like I would hear, like, Decker. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> it, it says 2,000. Alive? Yeah. And 500. Dead? The other one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the, I'm cool with 500. Who, who wants him? Ackerton? Mm, the mayor in Ackerton. The mayor. <sighs> to the Mr. south. Ackerton. And they are located north of Clueport, which is east of here. In the bluff. That's what the description is you have. It, it looks like it's in a bluff. Yeah, I pass on that. What was that? In a drunken haste, I do that. <laughs> That's what you get. So, yeah, <laughs> 2,000 alive. All I really heard was 2,000 alive and where we have to take him. There you um, go. So he'll stay alive, we present him to the mayor, and then we kill him then. And then you... Nobody said he had to stay alive once the mayor saw him. Good. Can I take his legs off? Roll me a constitution so saving throw at yeah. disadvantage. I'll burn the wounds so he doesn't bleed to death. We can gladly do that. 18. Okay, yeah. You guys are feeling really good right now. Sure, you can cut his legs off. Go. I'm going to take out my two, my two books from Decker. Okay. I'm going to set one kind of near tweet. Okay. Um, do you know what this is? Do you recognize anything in here? The pages. <laughs> it's paper. <laughs> you know, I never learned how to read that. It's, it's kind of, you know, wood. Okay, I'm going to pull the book back okay. from Tweet, and I'm going to continue to look through the other book that I pulled out and see if I can figure out what it is. Okay. Because I was essentially just handed two books. I don't know what's in them, I don't know what information they contain. Uh, and those are your spell books, right? They were your spell books, right? Yeah, my secondaries. Okay. Well, my secondary. So, uh, yeah, per um, per what you uh, you gather, uh, you look through them, and 
What language would they be? Would it be in Dwarven? Or it would they... be in Dwarvish. Okay. But the pages are very, very, very high quality. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah. So, when you go through this book and you're feeling like just the texture of the page just feels... It feels like it would be something you would love to have because of the fact that, like, with you writing in your journals and stuff, the quality... Like, like, like kings write up. Like, you could tell the ink just... just is so compatible with whatever this this type of fabric or pages that are in it. Um, it's probably skin. Make me <laughs> make me uh, make me an intelligence check real quick. Sorry. Nine. Okay. Um, so as you're also kind of skimming through it and you're kind of looking, you can't really distinguish any of the language that's in this at all like but you do see what looks like a, a little bit of a I don't, don't want to say like uh, images or diagrams or I would say but there's certain things in here you're seeing so like one of them may have like a like a, a picture of like uh, what may look like sleet kind of coming down um, you know and then there's a and it's only like the picture is only like a corner of the page where it's got you know a bunch of uh, text in it, and you'd flip another one, you'd see what looks like something erupting, and and there'd be a little bit of text in there, and uh, you, you know you kind of putting it a little bit together to where like okay, man, I've seen this. This looks familiar, like Fireball. You know, this looks familiar to like one of something he did, but as far as actually being able to read it or know what this does. You can't quite distinguish it. Exactly. Yeah, that's a T-Rex. You've heard him speak a different language, so you could assume that that's what that is. Um, I am going to take my own journal out of my little holster. Okay. And put it in the staff. Okay. And then I'm going to take one of the books and put it in my little holster. Okay. And I'm going to put the other one in my pack after I... Um, I thought I had an extra shot or something. You're wearing it. Yeah, I think I'm wearing it. Uh, I'm going to just, like, very gently, very carefully put this in my pack. Okay. Um, kind of Sure. trying to hide it with the other stuff and protect it. Absolutely. Uh, so, you going through that, I'd say you probably go through that for at least a good hour, maybe an hour and a half, while uh, Jezebel and you guys have had at least six of those beers by the time all this is going on. Go ahead and roll me a, a, cons, a con save with, at disadvantage on both of you guys. Fifteen. Okay. Thirteen. Okay. Um, still doing okay, but you can tell that the effects finally hitting you. It's going on about nine o'clock at night, and you're starting to feel, you know, a little tired, a little thing, but you feel that you guys have probably done Deckard proud as far as drinking his name, his honor, kind of, you know, celebrating his life a little bit more. Um, you hear Zook just absolutely snoring, and it's echoing through the entire um, thing. And uh, little guys tuckered out. Um, tweet, and you, you just kind of having a good night right now, just chilling with your carrot cider and just vibing, vibing. You know, um, I'd say probably about another hour goes by. Anything you guys want to talk about while you guys are. There, Shade Tricks, are you going to go to bed anytime soon? Please tell me. Yeah, whatever you want to do. Uh, talk about what I wanted. Murdering this elf. After the mayor sees him alive, they were allowed to chop off his legs. I can't chop him off. Just take him to the mayor. I want 2,000, not 500. Would Deckard want 500 or 2,000? Deckard won't want 2,000. I want to, though. But he'd also <laughs> like it if I chopped off his legs. So you can chop off his legs, and we can take him to the mayor. And this then, way he can't run. Can and then you can kill him once the mayor sees him alive in that 2000s. 
in one of our hands, kill to your little heart's content. Okay, sure. You lay down, tweet, you see Shatrix just kind of lay down and relax and just kind of pass out. Looks pretty peaceful. I'm going to stay up for first watch. Okay, fair enough. Uh, Constitution save throw at disadvantage for both of you guys. No, that's oh, that's yeah. it. Okay. Critical fail. Okay. <laughs> 19. I don't know why. Okay. Like so, as you a sixteen and a nineteen. As you're as you're in mid as you're in mid talk with uh, with Vitter here, and you turn around and you say, "Does Decker would Decker want two thousand or would Decker want five hundred? All of a sudden, you just see Vitter just go. Doesn't answer the question. Just out. <laughs> And you and Tweet, as you look over, Tweet is the only one just kind of sitting there by the fire, just to sleep on this question. hanging out, watching around, you know. Hugh, he's just cleaning up and kind of doing stuff. Push the cup forward for Rico. Okay, he does it. You take another drink, go ahead and roll a uh, con save at disadvantage. 14. Okay. <laughs> After that, you do start feeling your eyes get a little heavy, and you're kind of sit there for about another hour, and you actually pass out somewhat gracefully, fairly intoxicated. <clears throat> Tweet, as you being the only one up, you kind of uh, hang out and uh, relax and just kind of thinking about, you know, everything you've gone through with the uh, snow and the... Um, the uh, you know the, the the burning of the kids and losing horses and your 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 egg case getting a little crushed. Uh, maybe a perception check real quick as you're kind of just hanging out there. Crit fail. Okay. Yeah. You kind of just doze off, but you sleep. You fall asleep, but it's almost like you fall asleep with your eyes open, like you just. Out. So. <laughs> okay, I'm like, <laughs> you have. Almost like you're meditating, but you just sit there and you stare at the fire and then you just. You fall asleep, but not realize you fall asleep. But you're sleeping. Um, as next day rolls up, I would say, Zook, you'd be the first one to actually wake up. Um, you wake up. You see Vitter passed out next to his cup. You see Jisbel. Somehow sleeping, but very gracefully, just looks just happy. Almost has a little smile on her face as she's sleeping. Um, you see a Bully just with his tongue out, licking the wood, falling asleep, loving the moist wood, all mm. the slime going around. Um, you see uh, Shatrix pretty, pretty comfortable, and you see what looks like Tweet just sitting there staring at the fire. I think he's awake, right? You definitely think he's awake. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna walk over to him. Okay. <laughs> Be like, hey, tweet. And you get no response. <laughs> I'm gonna. <laughs> yeah, you do one of those, and his eyes don't blink or nothing. Just straight on fire. Can't tell if he's ignoring you or what, but. about that but he's kind of strange so <laughs> and and i'd say shatrix you kind of wake up and you see zook just going like this to tweet's face tweet's eyes are wide open staring at the fire um and you can kind of see a little bit of concern look on zook's face because he doesn't know if he did something wrong to piss him off but he's getting no reaction and you know tweet and them are probably the closest buds out of the group of everybody right now well, at least out of Zook, Zook is probably Zook's best friend, more or less. So, but not getting any reaction. So you're kind of seeing Zook get a little concerned. Like, the fuck did I do? Uh, tweet. Huh? No response. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna look at Zook and be like, maybe it's a bird thing. <laughs> I don't know. It's just super weird. I'm gonna back away and just kind of. Go sit down. Okay. Yeah, you go sit down. I'd say, uh, just about you kind of start waking up a little bit, and you see, uh, Vitter, he's kind of moseying around a little bit. Um, he kind of wakes up. It's like, just one more, as he starts waking up, and 
I pop a good bear and I literally put two in front okay. of him. Like, I'll okay. pop one of these. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And Dexter just loves it. And you see him take out and he's running across the bar now. And um, Hugh comes up and goes, Oh man, we got an infestation. As he takes a knife and goes, Dug! And he's like, Trying to like, that little guy's running across the bar. I will fucking kill you. Oh, he's yours? Oh, I'm so sorry. Like, you're, I, you're so loud. Oh, yeah, yeah. That spooked me. Anywho, um, I got breakfast made for you, Booty Bandits. I just, you know, I don't want no trouble. So, And he's got like eggs and a little bit of uh, kind of ham looking thing off to the side. Some type of meat. And he's passing it out to everybody. He goes to tweet, and he goes, Hey, uh, buddy, I got you something to eat. And he getting no response. And he's like, I'll just leave it right here. And he leaves it right in front of you as you're sitting there. What is it? It's like eggs, and it's got a little bit of ham. Like some type of, like ham and eggs, basically, is kind of what it looks like. Um, and he, he puts it there, and he walks away, and uh, goes back to you guys. Is your friend doing okay over there? He's just... Sitting there staring at the fire. I've never seen somebody who's so in love with it. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Tweet. Yeah, no response. I'll get up and I'll walk over to him. Okay. You okay. Sure don't shut up. <laughs> you walk over and you see Tweet just zoning in. Yeah, I'm going to stand like right in front of it. And Buddy. No reaction. You, you, I didn't want to have to do this. I'm going to violently shake him. <laughs> okay. What do you violently want to do? Oh, shake him. I'm going to violently shake oh, him. Oh, like you like did. Like I did. So okay. Much. All of a sudden, you're, you're like, <laughs> you're just kind of going around. <laughs> you must really like to manhandle people, huh? You wake up. No, I don't. <laughs> Why? I don't like to touch people. Why? I was awake. I know, but you were being weird. <laughs> what? Just staring at the fire. There's food there. You're not eating. And you look down, there's food there. Hey. You're, oh you're, my god! <laughs> <laughs> your drinks go down on the floor. I don't know what's going on here. Are you? Is my egg okay? Uh, make a perception check. Actually, investigation check. Ooh, investigation check. Six. Um, how in depth are you? Are you just looking at it from the uh, thing, or are you opening up next? Okay, you it up. okay, you open it up. So you open it up and you take a look, and it looks just about as was as it's cased in. Other than now, the metal around this is you know black. It's just it looks fine, like. And you even kind of touch it, and it feels actually a little warm. Everything good? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go finish that drink. You know, okay. Go the air and whatnot. More? <laughs> go ahead. Is Bully awake? Uh, he would be waking up now, yes. He woke up to uh, tweet squawking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go over and tell him that I put the drink there in case he woke up in the middle of the night and ask him if he wants a warm one. Um, yes. As he drinks that one and then just gives you the cup. Doesn't care that it's cold because it's just he just likes it. I'm gonna go ask Hugh for my last two drinks that we agreed upon. Okay. Yeah, there you go. He gives them to you, no problem. Take so, and sit down and eat. what are you guys gonna be doing today? You guys got any big plans? Uh, uh, yeah, we now plan to fucking shut. We're gonna get that dude. Oh, okay. Bitter. Um. We're gonna kill Vitter. Whoa. Wait. What? What? We're gonna kill Vitter. Not, Is that the king's me. name? The other. We're not killing me. The other one. That's that's not. That's asshole. I'm Vitter. Okay. Well. Oh, I thought it was okay. <laughs> um. Well. If you guys are gonna go do that, it's great. Uh. You know, I also, if you if you're interested, I do pay a uh, a pretty good uh top gold to uh. Any type of unique animal creatures that I can display as far as trophies. If you guys are interested, um, I will definitely, uh, you know, if you guys want to go on a little bit of a hunting crusade, I guess. So this is all 
All these are for sport? Uh, in a way, yes. I don't do it, but it's help for advertisement. So, so people who hunt for sport bring stuff here? Yes. Okay. Thanks. Thanks for the info. So, you know, we do prefer the more, the more, uh, the more unique, um, uh, creature, the, the more I pay. So, just, uh, putting that up there. Don't look at me. <laughs> <laughs> no offense. I'm sorry. Please, please stop my mom. You look at me up and down. You lick your lips every time. <laughs> I'm going to pull out a, a jar. Okay. That has vampire fangs in it. Hmm. Where did you get these? Hmm. Came across them in my travels. Do you happen to have the head of this beast? No, but if you look... I'm going to shake it a little bit. There's a venom gland. Yeah, it's not that those aren't neat. They are really neat. I just would prefer, like, you know, something I can display wide, widely. Um, um, if I put those teeth up there, a lot of people could think that came from a wolf or a jackal. Okay. Conversation. I'm going to pull another jar out. Okay. It's a jawbone. Okay, now we're talking. That's close. What did that come off of? Um, well, it was dead, but not dead, if that makes sense. Interesting. Interesting. Makes a good story. I think it's called Undead, maybe? Okay. Are we giving this guy our shit? I got an arm. I pull out that white monkey arm. <laughs> See, now that's more like it. I really like that. That's a nice piece. And I got a Minotaur <clears throat> horn. I would be interested in buying the Minotaur horn if you're willing to let it go. I don't really use it for anything. I killed a Minotaur with it once. Oh, okay. Well, you know, I've never seen a Minotaur up close, but I'm sure it's probably a nasty creature. I really don't do much. Um... I would be willing to pay at least 75 gold for it. Holy shit. At least. At least. Oh, I think we need to jack them numbers up a little bit. Okay, what do you have in mind? I'm open to negotiation. Tell me, really take a look at it and tell me what you think it's worth. Looking at it, I'd bump it up to 85. I, I can settle for 85. 85? Okay, well done. Here's 85 gold as he takes up and he... You wouldn't happen to have another one, would you? Uh, no, it was really hard to get that one. Alright, well I'll make you a deal. If you find another one, because I'd like, I'd like a set. Because I think it would go really good here behind the bar. And I could have another one displayed and it look like it'd come out to where it almost looks like I, when I'm serving drinks, would have horns. You know, wouldn't that be a hell of a joke? That, that's awesome. I love that idea. But uh, if you find another one, I'll tell you what, I'll pay you 150 gold for it right now. Not right now, but when you bring it. Right, yeah, yeah. I'll definitely, definitely try to bring you another one. Perfect. And you with the jawbone, I am interested. Um, <laughs> undead, not dead. I don't understand the creature, though. Like, what, what's... what? Uh, it's a little. It's not very big. Can you tell me what the creature is? Can you verify what the creature is? I'm going to pull out my journal. Okay. And um, <laughs> roughly sketch this. Okay. And I take it you're going to sketch the uh, the lady in purple that you, you did it to? Okay. Um, make me a history check with advantage uh. as far as... As a selling point for her, when she's shaking that jar around, mm -hmm. I'm going to set that vampire eyeball on it. Oh, okay. Well, that jar would be sitting on the bar now, and I'm holding the... Okay. Well, I guess I would set that down to Dougal. Anyway. Okay. You said history? Yep, with advantage. 16? Okay, yeah. And all of a sudden, you kind of just go to work on this. You pull it out. That's pretty good. I... I tell you what, I'll take the jaw 
and as long as they can have the sketch with it for 25 gold. I'm just gonna pile all this vampire stuff that I have on top of this jar. So it's got an eyeball, two more teeth, okay. and another gland. Okay. I'll tell you what, since you throw all that in there, I'll make it 35 gold. You got your own jars? Um, well, I would figure you would give me those. I paid good money for these jars. And I'm paying good money for the product. So. See, what I'm going to plan on doing is I'm going to put it over here on this side of the bar and I'm going to make a little bit of a, a like a, a, I would say like a, a little display area and I'm going to put your sketch there and I'm going to put the jaw there and I'm going to put the other pieces around it and when people come in and be like, huh, that's some interesting uh, artwork you got there and I'm gonna be like, oh, let me tell you a story about this, uh, this thing about a uh, group of... Uh, I guess, you know, See. the booty bandits themselves comes in. See, you've heard of us, which means we're a pretty popular group. That's true. And, uh, I'm going to scribble on the paper, paper a little more. With that uh, booty bandits member signature. Right, booty bandits on it, too. <laughs> this feels like a pretty valuable drawing here. <laughs> this is Shatrix herself. In the flesh. And, uh, as I grab the quill and I sign. You signed it already? In your name? Uh-huh. Okay. You know, as proof of our travels and the things we've done to help people out. Okay. Um. You now have two signatures. I tell you what, if you and the whole booty bandits sign this piece, I'd raise it up to 100 gold. Oh, we're only worth a hundred gold. The hundred gold. I'll tell you what. I'll make you even a better deal. I will say I'll give you a hundred gold now if you all sign it. And then I'll give you a type of royalty to where if somebody comes in and buys the piece, you guys get 25% of the uh, the purchase as well. But it's got to be signed by all the booty bandits. That's not possible. Hmm. Why not? Jim Beck. We're, we're two now. Hmm. They're no longer with us. That's too bad. That kind of devalues it a little bit. All right. Well, instead of 100 gold, I'll say I'll do 70 gold. With still the royalty at 10%. Give me that piece of paper for a second. Give me the drawing. I'm going to go get signatures for everybody. I'm going to um, flip through my journal a little more. Okay. In it, there is a sketch of Deckard. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> it's a sexy picture. <laughs> um, because I haven't used this before. Um, fuck. So if I'm not mistaken. I can impersonate handwriting that I've seen, yes? Are you sure you have that skill? I don't... Yeah, she does. Okay. I think I gained it with this last level up. Oh, okay. Yeah, all right. Yeah, I do. I do remember that, yeah, because you asked me about it. Okay. Yes. Um, I am going to try to stealthily... Okay. Make it look like it was signed from Deckard. Okay. showing it to Q. Okay, okay. Um... I'll tell you what, uh, I'll let you get all the signatures and then come back and we'll talk about it as he walks around, does his own thing. You don't even have to stealthily do it. Okay. Um, just make a performance check, though, as far as trying to. Make it, I believe you should be able to add your proficiency bonus doubled on top of that, just like your thieves' tools, I would believe. 
That's what I would believe it would be, but okay. I don't know for sure. So it would be... Because if you're proficient in like... Well, performance plus this double? It would be Am I understanding a what you're forgery kit, not thieves tools. Yeah, but I'm thinking it would be the same as how she would do thieves tools. Like, you get to double your proficiency oh, yeah, while yeah. you do it. I mean, if it, it makes yeah. a difference, I'm also yeah. proficient with the forgery kit. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. That's so, what I get, too. So double your proficiency and then mm-hmm. make a performance check on top of that. So if you have a plus 5 in proficiency, it's going to be almost like a plus 10, more or less. 24. Okay, yeah. You sign that. Do you sign everybody's or do you just sign his? On... I, I'm just, I only have the drawing of Deckard oh, right now, okay. so I'm just signing his okay. name. Okay, so you sign Deckard's, you sign, oh, you sign. So the minute she signs Deckard's, uh, I'm signing this piece of paper in Deckard's name, too. Okay, oh so you sign it. Hopefully it matches up. You take it over to Zook. <laughs> I got my proficient in it. Yeah. My forgery. You take it over to Zook. Okay. Want to explain to him what's going on? She has that. I have oh, that. Oh, okay. Yeah, she has so, the undead. I'm literally going over and I'm getting to sign this. Okay. I was just focused on that right picture there. of Decker. Uh, okay. Okay. I'll sign it. You sign it. You take it over to Tweet. It's just a V. It's cool. Yeah. You want to explain? These two have no idea what's going on, so. I just need your signature. Signature equals gold. I don't know how old. <laughs> <laughs> He axes. I can only copy. I can't. I don't, I don't know how to do it. Axes. Axes. He needs to be taught hold how to hold do it. Hold on. I'm thinking here for a second. So I'm not doing it on this one. What do I have in my pack? Um. I have some paper. <laughs> Better any paper. <laughs> Sorry. Better gaming. I'll give her a piece of paper. Sure. So I'm gonna go over. Oh, wait, do I even. I don't even know how to spell Tweet's name, do I? Tweet, sign it up. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just gonna write down what I think Tweet, how Tweet would be like. Okay. What it would be spelled like, and I'm just gonna hand him the pen. Can you do what I just did, but on this piece of paper? Yeah. Okay. okay. Make your performance step. It really doesn't matter, it's his first signature. <laughs> Five. Okay, it <laughs> definitely doesn't look anything near what you wrote. That's fair. Um, very squiggly lines, like when he's trying to write stuff. That's fair. Tweet, can I um, take a? Can I just have a feather to put onto the paper? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> feather. I feel like you pull it to the it's same spot fun. every time. It's a fucking burnt one. You take it over to you take it over to Zook, and again, Zook don't know what the fuck's going on. Why am I signing this? Gold. Free enlistment. Fair enough. <laughs> As Zook signs it, you take it back, I believe. Yeah, I'll okay. take it back to Shatrix. So you take it back to Shatrix. Q comes back around. All right, well, do you guys need anything else other than, you know, I got you guys breakfast? So... Uh, one, one second, Q. There's somebody else you need to get a signature from. Jim isn't. Exactly in the tavern right now. No, but I have a feeling he'll be here soon. Where yeah. is your uh, Where's your water closet? <laughs> uh, my what? Where's Where's the water closet? Uh, bathroom. The water closet. The bathroom. Oh, she's gotta do her makeup. Blue. There's. It's outside, out back. Okay. Behind. I'm gonna go. Okay. Did you leave the paper with me? Sure did. Okay. Mm, um. So, um, this is now. Nearly complete. Only missing one person who travels. Travels quite a bit. I think two people actually. So this now becomes part of the deal, and my tone would change quite a bit. I'm going to slide the paper or the drawing of Deckard over. Okay. I'm, I'm not... These two items cannot be sold separately. Oh, okay, that's not a problem, but you're also missing one more signature. So, I've heard that 12 there hours ago, you didn't know who the booty bandits actually I've heard were? that there might be another individual that's a bigger, lengthy kind yeah. of guy. Uh, I hope Jezebel's done. I got a shit. 
<laughs> I'm gonna walk outside. <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> so I forgot about him. As as you walk outside, mm-hmm. and uh, we're literally <laughs> passing, and I'm gonna be like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> and I'm just oh, this is <laughs> second. <laughs> So I'll wait outside for him, looking like Jim Vic. I'm going to cast oh. Alter Self. Okay. I'm going to turn into... A ma- massive Goliath. <laughs> I'm going to turn into the Goliath. Okay. What was his name? Whose name is... David... David... <laughs> the Goliath. <laughs> David the Goliath. Okay. As, uh... Oh. I'm going to turn. I just... Oh. Forgot about yeah. him? Nope. Oh, okay. I realized what I'm gonna have to do here. Okay. Unless someone else thinks of it. Okay. Yep. Okay. Um, we'll wait till Zook, Zook gets back, and uh, we'll keep going. So. I. Oh fuck. <laughs> <laughs> now I need to mark on spell so Nope. I just need to fix this. There we go. Yeah, which is it? Which is cool because I'm glad you guys are all signing something. Because what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna have you guys all sign that plaque that uh, uh, Bailey made. So I would like you all to sign it eventually soon. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna get Kumar's and 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 uh, Riley's, but I don't think we'll get Riley. But at least I only forgot his character's name. But <laughs> I would mind having at least Kumar come in maybe on a session and sign it. He is part of this that we started, so. Fuck him. Thanks to sleep. Wakey, wakey, eggs and bacon. Oh, God. Because my goal is... is <laughs> that the pins and needles? <laughs> my goal is is when we finish this campaign, I'd like oh, to, like, stain that, make it kind of glossy, and have all of our names on it. Did you say that? It'd be really cool. You gonna burn it in? I don't know. I was just gonna. I have the tool to do it, but Whatever if we're gonna do signatures, I would prefer person, that everybody would tries to it. burn it in themselves. <laughs> I would. I just say sign it, and then we can just gloss it. Yeah, marker first. Yeah. Yeah, we'll get a that. we'll get a permanent marker and and have you guys sign it. So. Listen, apparently we're both there. I can only sign in purple. Whatever you want to sign. And it's like Yeah. Or we can get a matching sorry. so that it oh, sorry. creates a hole in me. Oh, that's too complicated. We've been in like you guys been in the snow so long. It's almost time for a beach episode. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get to the beach. <laughs> <laughs> I want my beach in this <laughs> Yeah. Because <laughs> she uses it. I want it. No, just the dagger. I think she probably uses the right beard more. The dagger only comes out when she's being defensive of someone. <coughs> right here? In a conversation. Dagger, dagger, dagger. But initially I was thinking just like a little... Has anybody even heard anything from Riley in a while since she's left? It's his birthday, isn't it? Yeah, mm-hmm. he had a kid. Yeah. Hey, yeah. I know he had a kid, yeah. I knew he had a kid. Oh, that's nice. I just wonder if you heard anything from him. Nope. The only time I ever really talked to him was when he was here. Mm-hmm. I don't remember anything, I don't think. Oh, I did from the group chats. He was actually kind of the the curveball when we originally started. Like, I remember when we were starting that little mini campaign, um, he, uh, like, I showed up and Dalton's like, yeah, we got another player. And it was like, the fuck? Okay, so, no, back to it. It was, the time, it was just before we started. The mini campaign. Yeah. The one right before the oh, main yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I showed up, he's like, we got another player. And I was like, oh, all right. Um, so, as you guys are outside, you change yourself into Jim Vic. You change yourself into this massive-looking Goliath. Um, I change s- clothing and everything yep. to match what I last saw. Exactly. Um, and as soon as, uh, as soon as, and you guys are all sitting in the tavern, you three are sitting in the tavern, I'm assuming getting ready to head back in. Yeah, I'm going to walk in with him. Okay. So, as coming in, sure as shit. You guys turn and look, 
and you see you have seen Jim Vick before, you know what he looks like. Um, and then you see this massive, huge, gray-skinned individual, just buff, like six foot eleven. I think I think he was like seven five. He okay, so cute. seven five, and you see him even like duck coming in, you know, and you're maybe coming up to like half of his calf. That's how tall he is, you know. Maybe the knee. Um, come walking in, and Shatrix and 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 Tweet, you look over, and sure as shit, you see David, David and Jim Vitt together walking into this establishment. You know, <laughs> I don't. I don't think they know yet, though, because they didn't discuss anything about it. Yeah. They just went out and changed, and then came back in. Sorry, I'm trying to do this as Shay Chicks would do it. You're good. Tweet? You want to say anything to these guys? What's up, bitch? Trying to get your ass beat again? <laughs> <laughs> Who do you say that to, David? No. No. Jim. Oh, okay. You the loops or yeah, whatever? Yeah, the loot battle. Okay. <laughs> as I would assuming you pull out your solid gold loot you have yeah. now. I'd go to pull out mine and be like, no, we're good. You're the best. <laughs> And uh, all of a sudden, uh, Hugh goes, do you guys not know who's here? That's, that's Jim Vick. He's got some of the best songs around. He sings about awesome groups, a dwarf being gay. It is amazing. <laughs> David? I guess Firewall. Hello, Shatrix. <laughs> it sounds like David. <laughs> <clears throat> Traveling with Jim, we were making music. Well, <laughs> <laughs> but you, how did it go with your with your brother? Oh, it's great! Everything worked out just the way we planned. <laughs> would I pick up on this being weird at all? Roll Even in, though it sounds like David, you know, would I pick up on the mainers? Roll me an insight check. Roll me a deception <laughs> check. I'm, I'm the only person I'm trying to solely deceive. Solely on David. Yeah, no, you're good. You said insight. Insight against his deception. Fucking three. Eleven. You definitely know whatever he's saying is full of shit. Definitely no. Bully, these, it's, they used to travel with us. Oh, he's scary. Oh. No, David's oh. good. And I'm going to run over and just wrap my arm around his leg. Okay. So what everybody else sees is it looks like she's actually hugging this giant guy. What yeah. you actually see is you actually kind of go through him and you're yeah. like now uh, hugging Vitter. No, no, no it's, I, I it's am altered. Oh no, shit. Okay, I yeah, thought it was. It's not me. It's not like me. Okay, I, I just okay. Snap. Never mind. Yeah, it feels like a giant, huge individual you're trying to hug here. <laughs> it feels like David. <laughs> it feels like David. Tap her back and then kind of that's <laughs> forehead push. <laughs> <laughs> Since when did you become so touchy, lovey? What do you mean? It's David. I'm a pretty nice guy. Jim thing to do. It's <laughs> a real Jim thing to well, do. Well, uh, I take it these are the other two that was a part of your guys' group. Perfect. How coincidence. All we need is some signatures and we can make a deal. <laughs> what am I signing and why? And me, Jim. Well, you're, hey, come so on, Jim. We're Jim. actually, we're in the process of uh, making a deal. Oh. Jim, since your signature is a little bit more valuable because you kind of went solo and you're doing your own thing. So maybe I can get a, like a side signature. It's just a big fan. Or grace me with a song. Signature it is. <laughs> you go just just right here and put Hugh number one fan. Sure, Jim Vick sucks on it. <laughs> right here, come on. So, what do I get for signing this for you? Uh, what did Jim Vick say? 
<laughs> oh, Jim. I don't really have... You know what? I think you deserve this. I'll give you this, whatever this is here, this little vial. What is it? Let me see what it is before I make say I will. You, you would have to attune to it, so you're not going to be able to see it. I know. I just want to like, hold it, it yeah. in my hand. I, want, yeah. I just want to hold it. I want to hold it! <laughs> oh. hmm. Intriguing. Yeah, you can read it. <laughs> I'll sign... Jim Vick. Number one fan, Q? That's going to cost extra. No, that's, that's, that's it. That's all I got. Is that the deal? Number one fan, <laughs> Q. No, it's gonna go right here. It's not fucking payment. Okay, huh? Time use. <laughs> Is it a time use? Yeah, it's a one time oh, use. Oh, that's fine then. Sorry. They know me. It's fine. <laughs> so, um. Alright, now we just need the signatures for years and we got a deal. Mm-hmm. We were working out a deal here, David and Jim. Um. Yeah, I did. For. And the thing is, is uh, other than you know, Shatrix, you know that he was full of shit about working out with his brother. You firmly believe that this is David. This is not Vitter. Really and you do it. firmly yeah, believe that this is Shatrix. No, that, that's this not is, Shatrix. I mean, this is, <laughs> sorry, this is Jim Vick. It's a mirror. Because <laughs> they didn't say anything about to you guys about going out and doing this. They just went out, did it, and then came back. So we're we're working on a deal. Um, super weird that you guys showed up. Um, I'm I'm selling these items. Um, you know the booty bandits are pretty well known. Um, and with the signatures from the whole party, um, we'll get a better deal on it. Um, but I I do have to tell you. Um, He'd be over fucking joy. I made his ass steal. <laughs> but um, <laughs> there's since turmoil because I know how you would react. He's but not here <laughs> to be able to sign. Um, got this nice little picture of Deckard that uh, Hugh needs to stay with this signed. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. So yeah, it would would uh, get us. Some extra gold, me. Some extra gold, us. Yeah, sure. Would love to help you out, but then I got to go back. What cut do I get from this for signing? To the mountains. To uh. Didn't you already get enough? Okay, never had enough. <laughs> what a Jim thing to say. <laughs> That's so Jim. <laughs> Boy, Jim, really missed you. I missed you too. So how much am I getting? My well, signature Hugh, comes with the price. Q, what uh, what deal did we work out here with the whole party? Whole party, a hundred gold up front, and uh, twenty percent royalty if someone comes in and buys it. So how much of the hundred gold am 25. I getting up front? Twenty twenty five percent, right? You didn't increase this price at all. No, it would have decreased if you didn't have everybody. But now that you have everybody, mm, but see now I'm here, so that price needs to increase. I am Jim Vick, after all. <laughs> Roll me a persuasion what a Jim check. Thing to say. <laughs> what a Jim thing to say. <laughs> That's tough. Done. You said persuasion? Yeah. 23. Okay. Um, <laughs> that was a test. Yeah, uh, I'll tell you what. We'll make it 125 and 25% royalty. How about 200 up front and half the royalty? Ooh, how about 200 up front and 25% of the royalty? 200 up front and 45 of the royalty. And see, then I'm not really getting anything. You have my personal signature of your own. Yeah, but that's for me. Yeah, that's all you need. <laughs> I'd say 200 and feel like I'm in 30%, and that's the highest I'll go. 240. I feel like I don't have a lot of time left no. here. Sorry, two hundred and thirty percent. Oh, are you in a rush, David? I just really miss my brother. He said two hundred and thirty percent. 
You get what? You get two hundred up front. Up front, thirty percent royalty. You guys do have to come back and collect royalty if, if it does ever get sold. <clears throat> um, you guys can keep all of that. I don't need that. David, you're such a stand-up guy. How much of that do I get? <laughs> <laughs> How long does this last for? These? Uh... It's an hour. Okay. Mm, you can have. 25, but you're on your own for collecting your royalty. Looks like you're not getting my signature then. Well, I guess, really? Well, I got I got his personal, which oh. is mine. But if I'm not going to get signature, then it goes back down to 75% with 25% royalty. 75 gold. 75 gold. Come on, Jim. 25 is splitting it evenly between all of us that are currently a party, part of the party. Oh, oh, Lordy. Yeah, well, you wouldn't have had that price increase if it wasn't for me. <laughs> oh, Lordy. What a gem thing to say. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> modest. 40. And you're still on your own for royalty. It's a negotiation inside of a <laughs> negotiation. And I'll get my own royalty. Hugh, you, you, can I see that really cool signature you got? Uh, Don't show it. No, that's mine. Sorry. But, so, it's a signature. 50, and I collect my own royalty? Uh, uh, David will quickly lean over, because he's tall enough to do this, and just sign the sheet. Sure. He's like, well, I gotta go take a shit. <laughs> um, <laughs> big can sir, you? Yeah. Can you not use the outhouse? I think you might be a little Fine. too big. That's racist. All right. And I'm also, not. I, I'm just saying it's not that big. <laughs> okay. I guess I'll go shit in the woods. Okay. <laughs> Have a good shit. <laughs> That's a big fucker. <laughs> Uh, did you sign it? Yeah. Okay. All right. With all signatures, here's 200 gold, and get the display going on here. And you have, uh, I'll give you a 25 percent of our 30. All right, guys, have a great time. Of the royalty. I'm out. <laughs> okay. As right. now it's just pleasure doing business. <laughs> Zoop, Tweet, and uh, Shatrix back in by themselves. Towards the outhouse because I won't fit in it. Okay. Look around, make sure nobody's coming, and then I'll uh, I'll drop Walter Self. Okay. You do so. Turn right back into it. Going. Back to. Okay. Mm -hmm. Turn right back into it. Guys, go back inside. Do I see you? Yeah. I'd be like. I didn't go in. (laughs) What are you doing out here? I wouldn't have known it was you. I didn't see you change into David. <laughs> I was uh, taking well, the shit. <laughs> in the outhouse I was in? I was done. Well, you guys. Walk- I went out before you. You guys walked- We walked in, but I didn't see him change into David. He altered self, so I didn't know it was him. Yeah, okay. But you guys both walked in together, so... Oh, wait, I saw you walk out. That's what I'm saying. I'm oh. just kidding. Yeah. So you guys uh, wouldn't know. I see what you yeah, yeah. Right. So you. I actually gotta take a shit. <laughs> oh, okay. You walk in first, and Shatrix, Zook, Tweet, you all see Jezebel walk in. As. Craziest thing ever. Uh, I just saw David and Jim together. Right? <laughs> <laughs> then Bitter will blast through the door. Jim was here! <laughs> <laughs> we know. Oh. Rude. <laughs> Walked out on us again. <laughs> Just like my parents. <laughs> this is so sad. 
so sad. What a great morning it's been as he was just really happy and Shatrix, you think I could ask you a question? Smells. Do you think you could make a uh, a drawing of uh, a gem that I could put next to his signature here? It's gonna cost you a pretty penny. I I would be willing to give you at least ten gold. Ugh. For Jim's photo, of 50? Uh, I, I, I think 15 would be the highest. I'd this is know. Jim Vick we're talking about. He only allows Shatrix to draw. But I don't plan on selling it. It's just for my own personal. That this makes is, it even more valuable. This is going to be a one-of-a-kind piece. That Nobody only else has have. a portrait of I'm Jim Vick. I'm, uh, that's not true. <sighs> I've been to some towns. I've seen this picture. Yeah. Those are really but not by somebody from the Booty, booty Bandits. Yeah, I'll just I'll just pass then. I got a signature that's good enough for me. You know, I really like that hat. <laughs> <laughs> I like this hat too. I bet you if she traded the hat, you you'd get that you get that drawing. Uh, I'm okay, thank you though. <laughs> Anywho, I hope you guys do uh, end up getting those other booty bandits that call themselves the booty bandits. <laughs> So I, I hope you guys end up deciding to, I guess, clear your name or whatever. Hey, man, do you want this monkey paw or not? No, I'm good. Thank you. It's like two copper, man. I'm good. I'm good. Okay. Thank one you. One copper. <laughs> I'm good. But that other Minotaur horn, if you find another one, please let me know. Okay. I'd say at this rate, it's probably going on about nine, nine o'clock in the morning. Well, if we're gonna swack these guys, we gotta get over there. Swack who? Oh yeah, the impersonators, uh, the bloody bandits, money involved. What? Other yeah. people running around impersonating us. Other bitter. Well, it's not tactical bitter. Not. Stop going on bitter. <laughs> Might be more tactical bitter. Can it get more hey, tactical? Maybe these bandits Possible. are the ones that kidnapped you. That we saved you from. Oh. You know, when you were held hostage mm-hmm. for some unknown reason that we never discussed. Just decided to trust you. Do, do you think he's afraid of fire, too? He knows what's good for him. <laughs> we, should, we should get on the road. Or start drinking again. Which way? Okay. So as you really as you guys are discussing your uh, your uh, your um, uh, plan and getting on the road and stuff, um, you guys do actually see the door open and another individual comes in, um, a little uh, little redhead uh, girl um, looks probably about twenty. 25 or so, um, give or take. Uh, she's got a, a, a nice little bow and arrow on her back. She's probably probably about 4'7". Um, little tiny, tiny girl. Uh, very, very pretty. Green eyes, um, little chin. Uh, she's got uh, basically a, a red um, kind of basically undershirt on with very light armor on as well. It looks like almost leather armor. Um, kind of like one of those uh, leather skirt kind of ones, you know, that kind of fur like gladi- out. Yeah, gladiator. like gladiator kind of style. Um, and she's got uh, these uh, boots uh, as far as um, looks like sandal strapped up boots that go all the way up to almost to your knee. Um, and she comes in and after that a fairly large individual comes in behind and uh, they come and they sit at a table. And as they're kind of sitting there, uh, they're kind of talking back and forth. And Hugh comes over, oh, more people. And Hugh comes over and goes, hi, how, how are you doing? She's like, oh, I'm, I'm fine. And, and, you, and you, sir, how are you doing? And he answers back. And um, she goes, well, uh, you know, we're, we're coming from Ackerton trying to uh, do a job for... Uh, Mayor and uh, and you know we're just kind of tired of people getting jumped and we're just uh, thinking about maybe you know taking care of the problem 
getting rid of these booty bandits and uh, and you know kind of getting rid of this king here. I don't know if we're gonna bring him in alive, but at least if we can help the flow of service, we can try to uh, make it happen. You know, and um, my uh, my friend over here, we we just kind of have a mutual understanding about working together to get this done. Maybe figured we both kind of make a little bit of money and and uh, and come in. And, you know, I've got some pretty good sharpshooting skills. And he was like, oh, that's good, man. Because, you know, the more the merrier. We, we really would like to get rid of these these booty bandits. You know, they're these so-called booty bandits. Bloody bandits. Uh, it says it on the poster. Does nobody look at the fucking poster? Uh, and this is... He can't hear you saying this. This is all between you guys. <laughs> um, yeah, and it's, it's you know, it is it is weird. And she will respond like, you know, I don't understand why they've been calling themselves the Booty Bandits. Because to my understanding, they're just like a really good group. I know they helped out the, the, the Brackle real good. And I know they've been kind of in favor of the King for a while. And I heard they... There's a, a really weird rumor that one of them, I guess, I don't know if it's their, their commander or leader, and I think this is where they get mixed up about the king of these bloody bandits, which claiming to be the booty bandits, and their somewhat so-called commander of the real booty bandits had like a really fun night with the king, and they were having a good time, and a story about somebody throwing up, and I don't know, it just it just... I don't like it that they're just disgracing their name, and I'm hoping that we can be the individuals to stop this. And my friend, he uh, he just he just he's just really all about doing what's right. He wants to be that that great of a of a powerhouse kind of guy, and just make sure things you know go smooth and and peace. Um, as usual. What can I get you guys to drink? Oh, something warm. It's really cold out there. As I got just the thing for you. As he goes back and gets two cups of the the cider, brings down, drinks, um, brings it to those individuals and um, comes back and goes and starts cleaning dishes while you guys are kind of sitting on the other side of the bar. These two individuals are sitting on a table off to the side and they're just kind of warming up. And occasionally you'll see the little girl go by the fire and kind of warm up and then go back over and um, just kind of hang out. So. Did we hear this exchange? Um, like make a perception check. You're the one who's interested the most, so. I would think at least you and Zook would be the most interested in it because of the fact that, again, this looks a smaller stature individual. 17. Okay. Matt. Perfect. You actually heard everything that was said um, that was going on between that exchange. You, you catch most of it. You, you, know, you get a pretty generalization that they're, they seem like really good people. They seem like they're just really out to help provide peace in this area. How old's the girl? She's like 20, 25-ish or so. I'm gonna, like, would I be able to tell that Zook is kind of focused in on it? I would say so, yeah. I'm gonna kinda elbow and be like, kinda getting a Shatrix and David vibe here, are you? <laughs> Who's David? Zoom's <laughs> <laughs> like, who the fuck is David? What a what a gym thing to say. <laughs> <laughs> uh with that I am Open going to walk over. <laughs> okay. So um, Just by yourself, anybody else wanna are you guys? I'm going to go walk, over. Walk over? Okay. Hi! Hi! Oh, hello. How are you doing? I'm pretty good. Uh, my name's Shatrix. Hi, Shatrix. How, I'm, I'm glad I'm to have sure met you or met you. I'm not sure. <laughs> Communication isn't really my standpoint. I am told sometimes that I do kind of go on and on about a little bit of things, but my friend here, he's a pretty good listener, and we're just, you know... Really happy to just be here and help out as many people as we can. And, you know, we signed on to do this job, and this job sounds a little intense, and I think we might be able to uh, handle it pretty well. And you could tell that was just a run-on of just go. So, did I hear you talk about the booty bandits and how... Yeah, these stupid bloody bandits are impersonating the actual real booty bandits, and 
it's just it's just not right and that's why me and my comrade here he uh he thinks it's wrong and i think we should just get rid of this problem together and he's one hell of a guy in a fight to have on your side what what was your names uh my name my name is clarice <laughs> Hello, a lot of a lot of people call me <laughs> Carrie for short. Oh, oh bloody Carrie too. <laughs> and your friend here, Carrie? Me, Cricks. Sorry, could you repeat that? Me, Cricks. How, how do you spell that? Cricks. 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 Nice, nice <laughs> to meet you. As I try to speak Dorvish to her because she's small. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, he uh, he's a really awesome guy. He's he listens to me a lot. And you and who's your friend here? He's a very unique individual. I I am very intrigued and. Uh, I'm Tweet. Tweet. Nice to meet you, Tweet. I don't know what the proper. Uh, Gesture is for meeting, so she like tries to get up, tries to curtsy or whatever. Oh, oh, okay. This is this is good. This is fun. Very very ticklish. I might be attracted to you. Okay. Um, <laughs> you're not getting a stiffy, are you? I don't know. <laughs> good, cause I don't either. You don't get stiffies? No, I don't know if you're getting one. But I don't really want to check. So, so my question is, what are you guys doing out here in the middle of nowhere? Well, as funny as this is going to sound, um, hey, uh, Vitter? Jezebel? Yes. Zoop? Yes. It, sorry, I kind of forgot. What, what did we decide to call our group? Well, Tweet named us the Moody Bandit. <clears throat> Chris, get ready. As she gets in like a fighting stance, the we know that there's, there's <laughs> we know that there's people out here in person, the real booty Bandits. These things really I don't travel with, you with a description. A oh, I, I, <laughs> I, I'm just not expecting I still that. just sit there. <laughs> I did not expect that. You guys don't look aggressive at all. Tweet. Put your fucking hands down. <laughs> <laughs> Take me with you. <laughs> They're after the imposters, not us. Oh. Well, if you guys I'm are an the, imposter. If you guys are the real booty bandits, then you must be their commander. No. No. Ugh. Tweet's our leader. Wait. So who was the one that was drinking with the king? That that was me. I could have swore they said that the commander was the one who had that great night with the king. Who's that? Oh, so the people that write the legends of the land. If you ever if you ever come across another one, maybe point it out. Give him a description. The leader, number one. Oh, you're the leader. Oh, well, you must be very tactical. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) I I know. I know. It's. I know it's not your guys' fault, but it is really a shame what happened to uh, Mayor Osmar, you know, with all the uh, werewolves and whatnot. That's bloody mess. Was it? Yeah. <coughs> was that yeah. yeah. And somehow his house went on fire. That was just crazy. Fucking absolutely nuts. <laughs> yeah. yeah that was that really was such sad. a crazy night. It's a good guy. It's a good guy. I met him once. Uh, anywho, well, if you guys, what are you guys doing out here? Like, well, we were heading to Ackerton. Oh, we're from Ackerton. That's where we came from. You didn't bring extra horses with you, did you? Unfortunately, we are. Tricks fast. Yeah, we are one of the walking <laughs> sense. Yeah, you look fast. <laughs> Sometimes Tricks carries me on his back. Tricks. Yes. Did he call you tricks? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Is that like a fetish thing or <laughs> Crick's big. Yeah, he is. Crick's is about six foot five. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just absolutely fucking muscled out. <laughs> <laughs> he 
He does, he's not wearing anything but a fucking leather strap on his chest, really. <laughs> oh my god. Well, hold up. Wait, so, what what is, is it like a good looking guy? Yes. Oh fuck. Are you, okay. uh. I shouldn't. It's upstairs. Are you, uh. Go ahead. You're good. Are you guys, uh, like, taking recruits? Because I would thoroughly enjoy, like, joining you guys. So would I. <laughs> <laughs> You're Are creeping you... me out in real life, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to ask her, are, are, are you two a package deal? If you join, he joins? Absolutely. We're best friends. What is going on? I'm with Sweet. I think they should join. God damn it. That's a good thing. <laughs> uh, sorry, I didn't catch her name. Did anybody ask? Yes. Carrie. Yep, duly noted. That's I'm going to pass around. I got, I'm tattooed up. I got a bear paw on my like. on my titty and <laughs> travel down my arm and then an elk tattooed on my back. But we don't plan on staying together very long. Me and Crix just kind of decided to join up for this one mission and then uh, I actually need to go back home. So home, huh? Where's that? Uh, south. It's pretty good. Very far south. <laughs> is it warm there? It is warm. Fuck, we might go with you. Yeah, it's kind of more like a ocean type bay area. What's an ocean? Like a giant body of water. Like a lake. Yeah. Does she like bigger? Like, like. like <laughs> we like also a big have lake. <laughs> huh? That's your child. No, it isn't. She's and, you know, we've got our own little rumor in mills down there about a possibly a. A ghost ship in that area, too. I want to check I, that out. I think I we trolled, need to go. I tried to tell Crix about it, but he's kind of got a thing for supernatural things or something. I got a thing for you. Did I hear that? <laughs> uh, Crix also has a very, very kind face. Yes. You would hear that. Um, I'm all for Ghost ship? I'm all for it. Absolutely. Love the idea. First, circus. Yeah, we're looking also <laughs> uh, to reiterate it would be uh, southwest. Um, she does give you the. Uh, like very far. Papana Revant. We'll just call it that. I might think I read that right. Where? Papana it, it right? Revant. It's the one right in the corner on the left side. I live, I live... Oh, the one that where it blends in with it so well? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I live in that area, next to the, next to that ocean. True. But, I've never seen it, but there are rumors of a ghost ship, and rumors of there might be some type of sacred artifact on that ghost ship. Oh. A Bonnerabon? Yeah, Habana Revant. Habana. But. Well, do you want to join us or not? I mean, if you're if you're offering, I would love to team up with you guys on this mission. As long as me and Crix do get you know a cut of the reward. I am a pretty good sharpshooter, by the way. It's awesome. We don't have one of those. I'm not trying to toot my own horn. Clearly. I mean, I guess I'm kind of really speaking for both of us, but what do you think? If these are truly the booty bandits, I think we should maybe see what they can do. God, I have to hear what you think. <laughs> Cricks. Cricks no mind. You sound like the most intelligent person I've ever met. And this is coming from the tactical what else? Oh, wait, well, what the <laughs> fuck was that? I speak in Elvish. You're an Elvish man. <laughs> I'll respond in Elvish. <laughs> no shit! <laughs> <laughs> 
My commons no. So, no <laughs> clarification, I have now heard you're, him... Speak two different languages now. Your elvish is... A, bro- a, broken, <laughs> a broken Dorvin, right? Like a broken, no, broken English. Bro- broken a bro- common. A broken common. So, broken common, but pretty well done elf. The shock is apparent on my face. <laughs> How many languages do you know? Yeah. Which is it? <laughs> Ten, nine, seven, five, More one. More than this one. More than th- okay. And I'm assuming you're still talking in elf while you guys are yeah. going back. <laughs> um. I'll switch to Dwarvish. How about Dwarvish? I know Dwarvish. Oh god, he's pretty good at that too. <laughs> Do I know any other languages? <laughs> um, nope. Nope, Elvish and Dwarvish, that's what I got for you. Switching back to common. This guy's fucking good. <laughs> mm-hmm. Some of the best Elvish I've ever heard in my life. Yeah, I've heard him speak a couple other languages too. It's, it's it's interesting because I have no idea what he speaks. How many languages have you heard him speak? Do you know gnome? Okay. Mm-hmm. I know he doesn't know gnome because you know I, I go, da da, and she just goes off on gnome. To and you, dwarvish actually sounds like broken, uh, whatever. That one. Yeah. As you, you, as bits and pieces you would it. know, yeah, because mm-hmm. you know gnome. But as he goes. I know he doesn't know Gnome because I'm like, and then Gnome goes, Crix, you are one of the biggest, strongest guys I've ever met in my entire life. And it's just like a run on of Gnome going off as she <laughs> ends it. The only one that you are kind of like surprised, like, oh fuck, like, you know, without kind of getting a really good feature of her being little, you're not really like seeing her ears or anything because her hair is pretty long and stuff. So you're not really catching what kind of race she is, but... Now you've kind of got maybe a, a suspicion of her being a gnome. It's fair. I thought she was like five seven. Uh, no, she's really short. She's <laughs> like four seven. four seven. I'm intrigued though to what other languages he knows. So, in my other language, okay, I'm just gonna ask him if he knows celestial. Okay. So in celestial, you're gonna ask me if he knows celestial. Do you know celestial? Do you respond? You know, language of God. Oh. Okay, and you guys are hearing. A, I don't know if you guys even know that she speaks celestial, but you're hearing. Nope, a nobody's ever heard me speak anything but common language. New language now. You, you guys speak gibberish too. Everything's gibberish when I don't understand it. <laughs> so. How? How do you know the language of God? I still. I serve Ilmeta. The gods of endurance and perseverance. I don't know anything about any other gods. Roll religion besides check. Besides mine. Roll a religion check. Nat Daddy. 20. <laughs> You're definitely very familiar of this god. I got this. You know exactly about this god. Everything there is to know about this god. <laughs> It's a lot of reading. You don't have to read I'm not else. reading at all. Yeah. Just, there's just like... But, anywho, as Carrie's sitting there, well... And did I you guys have a red cord wrapped around my hand. Did you guys want to, uh, you know, embark and we can go find these guys and posters and take care of them? Like, we could leave now. It's kind of somewhat nice outside. It's about, oh, last time I felt... Maybe like you know mid degrees, mid and what? you know mid degrees. Mid, mid what? Like like, like mid degree. Teens, twenties. Like, I don't really know numbers. I just know it's fairly nice outside. So neither of you know numbers, gotcha. Let's but, uh, I'm cool with this. Are you guys okay with us getting somewhat of a reward as well? Who's money management here? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ignoring this conversation and I'm literally asking him if he knows any other goddesses. I think it's time just... we nominate a secretary. 
And my vote is on Shatrix. <laughs> I follow the triad. Tier, Torm, and Ilmeda. And we know Tweet's vote is on Tweet. No, it's a suggestion. This is really Would hard you vote for Shatrix? Really yeah. won't open up to him. <laughs> okay, that's two. Shatrix. Three. I guess that's the majority. For what? Oh, we're nominating a secretary to, you know, take care of money things. Financials. Financials. Shatrix has been nominated, and so far there are three votes. She can keep the books uh, up to date. You can make that four. Shatrix, hope you're cool with this, because that's you. <laughs> Do you want it? Thanks, man. Thanks for the input. I mean, I guess I... I'm to do it anyway, and I'm going to tap my staff with my book in it a okay. couple of times as I say that. Okay. Yeah, it turns into a little pill. Mm-hmm. So. <laughs> okay. I mean, I like at it. least Tweet saw me <laughs> stick yeah. it. Well, yeah. Are we ready to go then? Uh, Tweet, can you get more horses for us, sir? Yeah. We're going to need that till we can get horses. Okay. You can ride with me. Oh, Okay. <laughs> As she gets up and starts Everybody heading out, a horse for her. <laughs> you follow behind her. Yeah, yeah. I, I left my sword on the outside of the door. Sure. And it is fucking massive. Sure. <laughs> um, As Crits, Crits and uh, Carrie head out, you guys are still sitting in the bar there. I look pretty peppy. Must not have been traveling long. I'm gonna look at Jezebel and be like, Is that what I was like when you met me? Oh, <laughs> I'm ahead for the door. Okay. Oh, so now you know why we fast so much, huh? <laughs> okay. Zoom. Have fun dealing with her. I'm gonna go out the door. Go out the door? Okay. Oh, I was going out the door. Okay. Like, hastily. Tweet, you head out. Vitter, head out. Can I get a to-go And I want everybody to know that I do make eye contact with anyone. Fuck yeah. That's fine. Yeah. All right. <laughs> yep, and I walk so out. as you my guys leave you. Yeah. head out the door <laughs> to embark on this wanted quest, we'll go ahead and end tonight's session right there. So, well done. <laughs> Okay. If you know everything. If you want to know everything. Yep, kind of do. <laughs> everything. Um, I'll keep you guys all informed for next week. Again, like I said, I don't know with hockey starting. I don't know what their time is going to be. Uh, um, so. Thank you. I did extensive research on this. I even watched an hour long video. And it was the most boring thing I've ever listened to in my life. Get it. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. oh no. <laughs> okay. Start pulling over. Such a psycho. What did I do to you?